Mid the restroom. What's up, guys? I'm Jesse Jane, and you're watching the Monday Midsole. Shout out to the Monday Midsole, man. It's your boy, CJ Soul. Checking in from Sneaker Con Chicago. I know you can't hear me, man, but it's still lit, man. So shout out to them. Subscribe if you haven't already. Yo, what's good? Can y'all hear me? I know it's a very quiet midsole. Can you hear me? Am I coming through clearly? The sound's off. Sound off proper. No sound. Cannot hear you. Sup, sup. Hey, everyone. All right. I think they, I think they can hear me. They can hear, yeah, they can hear that. All right. So what's up, y'all? While Kev's trying to figure out his sound, what's going on? It's one leg of the list your one leg of friend. Maybe you're only one leg of friend. I'm here trying to be normal. Um, and with that, I'll pass it off to my, my, my big brother. Go ahead, Marcus. What up, folks? It's your boy, Polos and Jays, AKA Mr. Red Cup. Glad to be back on a full show, even though my rock is getting ready to kick off in a little bit, but I'm, I'm still in here with y'all tonight. And with that, I'm gonna kick it over to the boy Mo. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mo. Uh, no AKAs tonight. Ready to get going with this. Let y'all get off early so y'all can, well, not early, but on time so y'all can catch this. Hopefully, Rockets W because I'm tired of seeing Golden State in the finals. Uh, and we're going to jump right in and we're going to introduce our special guests, the uh, Soulmates. What's going on? What is up? Yo, what's happening out there? Hi, mom. Hi, hi dad. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Hell, my mom and dad don't be watching this at all. Man, how, how you guys doing? Doing good, doing good, feeling good. Yeah. And we're actually hoping to watch that Golden State W. Uh, oh, oh, get that, get them out. Hey, can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me now? Can y'all hear me now? This is gonna be a solo interview. It looks like <laughs> y'all gotta go. <laughs> Who's our backup guest that we had? Can we bring them on? <laughs> oh wait, I, I got the backup guest right here. This is Penn. Go ahead. <laughs> So anyway, so let's jump right into it. Um, so before we do that, you know, everybody knows the, the Instagram name, Soulmates, but uh, for the for the, the chat, can y'all just introduce yourselves individually and then we'll kick it right off. All right. You go ahead. Yeah, I'm Kiana. I'm Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you had to think about what's your name? I'm a Virgo. I like to walk on the beach. I thought she was going to say something else after that. We need to introduce yourself. I mean, <laughs> she, my name, right? She, 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 right. That's you know, short and sweet. You know. <laughs> so let, let's go ahead and jump right into this. What is the shoe that uh, got you guys into collecting? And we will kick it over to the lady first. All right. So uh, initially, well, I started collecting Chuck Taylors, but initially I wanted the uh, up tempo, air up tempo, the black and white version. But uh, same story as a lot of people, I could never really afford the shoes, and my parents weren't really buying me those shoes at the time. So um, once I did finally get a job, I started collecting Chuck Taylors because at that time they're only about twenty five to thirty dollars a pair. So uh, yeah, that's where I started. Okay. Um, as for me, the first get enough money to get that shoe. That was. The gonna be the shoe i was gonna get yeah that sounds like the story of my life too i <clears throat> you know i couldn't get anything which is probably why i kind of go overboard now but um so so before you guys got together then you guys as individuals had a passion for shoes it wasn't where one of you guys influenced the other um more or is just uh I, to me i think we both were in the in the sneakers i wasn't i didn't get as serious 
about it until maybe a few years ago. Like I used to get the new shoes when they come out and stuff like that, but I beat them up. You know, you know, back in high school, back in high school, I don't know if kids still do it, but we used to go super early. Like George used to release at like six in the morning. Mm -hmm. Get in line, you go get your Jordans, and then we'll wear them to the mall that day. You know, later on that day or something like that. I don't know if kids still do that, but that's what we used to do. But I used to get shoes all the time, but I would beat them up, throw them away after I beat them up. But I recently, over the past few years, I started getting serious about actually keeping them and taking care of them. Okay. I mean, I think that's the story with everybody. You know, you get them in you know, high school, you just kind of beat them up. I can say the same thing, you know, for me. Um, you know, didn't really think about it like that, you know. So, okay. So let's jump right into uh, the YouTube. Who, who, what was the, the idea behind that? Who came up with that concept? And, uh, you know, let's kind of go from there. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the concept behind the YouTube channel, it was basically what we were talking about earlier is like we both had a passion for sneakers, but, you know, the, what you guys see us doing like on the weekends or going to the mall, picking up shoes and stuff, it's something that we were already doing. And I'm like, I see guys on TV that's that's getting that's doing YouTube videos and stuff. And I was like, we can do that. But, you know, you don't see a lot of couples doing it. It's like her her getting shoes and she has her own style. And it's like she's only recently gotten into Jordans. Like it's mostly Vans and Chuck Taylors and stuff like that. And now she's starting to get me into into Vans and uh, things of that nature. So it was it was something where it was like, we're already doing this. Why not just put a camera in front of it? Mm. Okay. And how, how old is, uh, is your uh, your channel? I've watched a lot of your videos. But uh, we started in 2016. Oh, really? 2016, yeah. Okay. 2016 was like our first video. Okay, I didn't realize it was only... For some reason, I thought it was a little older than that. I didn't realize it was only... Uh, a couple of years ago. Um, what was I going to say? So, so one thing I'm going to give you, well, a couple of things. One, I'm, I'm tired of looking at your shirt. Uh, Lisa Turtle over there throwing me off, you know, <laughs> old, old, old say by the bell crush. But um, I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit of grief here because I saw your last pickup. Well, you said you posted one today. I saw one. I watched one what, Saturday night when you guys got the, 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 the holy grail that everybody picked up. Those uh, No, <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, Everybody oh, oh, did oh, not oh, oh, get okay, the pair. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. More, more people than normal got that pair. Yeah. And I saw this and I'm like, wait a minute. How did they get theirs already? And I'm still sitting here waiting. My thing, I checked it today. It said Wednesday now. Yeah, we have to ask Nike about <laughs> that, man. Because I, I I, actually, what happened, I, would, I clicked free shipping because it was so, it happened so fast. So, you know, you don't pay attention. You're like, I want overnight shipping. And I was like, oh, slap, snap, let me call Nike and see if I can change that to overnight shipping and just pay the extra $25. But when I called them, they said I was a minute late, so they couldn't do it. So I was like, oh, well, we'll see it Tuesday, because that's what it said. It said the order status, the delivery day is going to be on Tuesday. I and mean, we were expecting on Tuesday, so it was our anniversary Friday. We were gone all day. We were gone all day. We come back, and there's a box sitting on the front porch. I was like things doing here i looked at the order status and it said delivered so. <laughs> yeah i was kind of salty about that i said i'm gonna start sending my stuff to your house and i'm gonna just drive by and pick it up <laughs> <laughs> oh wait hold up no no marcus you can fit my size i forgot we the same size never mind i, I forgot you 11 and a half too so i might not see my shit so ne never mind forget that oh, yeah, um, package didn't show up <laughs> so with the with the youtube that you guys have put together and stuff how much um on a weekly basis, how much time and effort is dedicated to, you know, doing your filming and doing, you know, the editing of the video? Because that, that takes time. Yeah, to be honest, I'm going to um, let him say how much time he actually spends, but he's at, he's the one that actually does this. Like, I'm just in the videos. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, um, he's the one that actually does all the editing and, you know, I'll do some of the filming sometimes and, you know, take okay. pictures and things like that, but as far as the editing goes, that's all him. Yeah, but she's the executive producer. Like, nothing, <laughs> anything, even if it's, like, in, anything like Instagram, any social media, YouTube, she's the exec, executive producer, so nothing goes out without her approval. Of course, of course. Uh, smart, smart man. Yeah, <laughs> she's <laughs> like, I gotta show her, as soon as I'm done editing, whatever it is, a picture, a video, she's gotta look at it first and be like, alright, that's cool. 
Yeah. It's always better to have two eyes anyway, yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh, of course, right. Oh, you know, it's happy better to have four life. eyes. No. <laughs> no, share life, life. <laughs> <laughs> so about on a, on an average, because it was it, that was something I thought about doing myself. I just my schedule is just so hectic. I I just don't think I'd have the time to do the editing and do a good job. I really like the edit editing work you guys do. So I was just curious what um about how long does that take you when you? Oh, you know? uh, it de it depends on what kind of video. Like our pickup video, the, the videos that we get the most views on are like our pickup vlogs, and those take the least amount of time for me to edit. It's like I can have them out that same day. Mm. Like when I'm doing other, it, it you and on those particular videos, it only takes me maybe two to three hours just to kind of <laughs> out real quick. If I'm just dead focused on it i can knock those out real quick a lot of times it's because it's a saturday that's the release day people want to see those videos so i try to get those out before before nighttime anyway because you know a lot of people are really not paying attention at at night so right um but if it's something that we record maybe a week or two ahead of time maybe bank some videos that mm -hmm. gives me a lot of time to edit it over a few days i can leave come back to it like those are the best those are the best ones to me and those usually get the least amount of views <laughs> oh wow really that's always the case man that's like instagram pictures i can sit here and drive to a nice location having a nice pair and get less likes than if i just throw some shit on the floor take a picture when i'm out the door and you know whatever mm, yeah two to three hours you said that's 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 quick <laughs> yeah that was, those are the quick ones like i said if i get the time if it's a week or, or so before we actually release the video, man. I, those are the ones I love doing because I can really try new things. It's like every video I'm trying to do something a little different, something new. Like right. I want to keep bringing the same video out. I want to try different transitions and color grading. I'm I'm still learning, man. It's fun to me. That's why it's like two to three hours. It doesn't seem like it's that long to me because uh, mm. it because it is fun like i i enjoy doing it like i watch other people's youtube videos i'm like oh let me try that let me figure out how they did that see wow. if i had it so. so first of all you just turned me off from doing any youtube because <laughs> i don't have two to three free hours so thank you unless <laughs> i send it your way and have you do it but um i work hey man i got i work i was almost 10 hours every day not eight eight to ten hours every day so i, I got a job just like everybody else <laughs> Yeah, but I got four kids. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got me. You don't have any time. Yeah, I'm about to say so. It's a wrap for that. But um, so speaking of the uh, YouTube, are there some uh, YouTubers out there that you guys, um, you know, I guess uh, really respect their channel or any anybody you kind of take take any style from or somebody who kind of just stands out to you guys that influences you a little bit? Do you watch? Mm. Um, I really like <laughs> Lily Singh. I mean, she's not a like not into shoes or not a sneakerhead or anything like that but i really just like watching her videos uh like the comedy she's usually uh you said who, who is that lily singh superwoman hmm. is that, is that superwoman? yeah yeah that ain't superwoman lily singh yeah she's yeah. got a huge following she's got about 13 million subscribers or something like damn. that damn what oh, okay she's like the richest woman on youtube like yeah. is uh, i gotta check that out this. What about you, Marcus? What the? Um, what, what you watching? I watch a lot of sneaker YouTubers. Um, you know, like Tony D. Too Wild. Um, I watch Bull Bull every now and every now and again. Mike Rich a lot. I usually catch all of Mike Rich's videos. Man, it's just I I like people that are just themselves and right. you know not try to do too much to it. Um, I watch anything everybody else does. So watching other. YouTube channels that have nothing to do with sneakers. I'm big on, so I watch a lot of Peter McKinnon and Casey Neistat. Um, um, who else do I watch? It's uh, just a lot of a lot of stuff outside of YouTube. I mean, I went outside of uh, sneakers. Um, uh, I recently just started watching Skip Goes Hard. Man, this dude be having me roll. <laughs> oh Lord, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Red Gloves himself. Red gloves, man. <laughs> so. With with that being said, with you watching other YouTubes outside of um, sneakers, I noticed you guys have had you know several videos where you're incorporating outfits to kind of match up with the shoes. Is yeah. that is that what kind of brought that on? Just kind of inspiration from some other channels, or is it just something that you said it's not getting, it's not really being done? This will 
make us stand out a little more? What's the what's yeah? The it's it, it's a combination of that, and also this is fashion is more of her passion than it is mine. Yeah, uh, it is being done. Yeah, just, you don't, it's, see, it it, that often. You don't see it often in, yeah. in sneakers. Mm -hmm. Like everybody, most of your YouTubers do the, the usual sneaker on feet where they just show you the shoes on feet. And I was like, sneakers is such a small entity of fashion in general. This right. community is not that big, but fashion is huge. I was like, why don't we just put, you know, an outfit or two with the shoes and just make a, a you know, a simple uh, video maybe move the camera around more instead of just having a standstill camera and just, you know, show the shoes, you know, people might want to see more than that. So. Yeah. I, I actually like that. Um, and Marcus, I'm sure could attest to this, Mr. Mr. Fashionista over there. And I did say fashionista. Yeah, you you um, need to watch a little bit more or something. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Hey, he man. got four kids, man. He ain't trying to dress up for nobody. Say, well, no, 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 no. T-shirt and sweatpants. Hell, let my kids beat that and up. And $5,000 shoes. So, uh, <laughs> hey, all you need is a gray sweatpants. <laughs> hey, ask me what I got on right now. Gray sweatpants. Hey, man, I don't need to know all that, but I'm just telling you. Oh, oh. <laughs> so... Have you ever got now what you guys talking about Mike Rich and some of the other YouTubers? Have you guys ever reached out to any of these other YouTubers, maybe for some direction of some sort or just words of advice or I kind of stay in your lane and do your own thing? No, nah, mostly just support. Like if I did reach out, I made a comment or something like that. It's just support. Um, like I like I, I don't really I guess what, what I see is is nothing that I would really want to know like advice on, I feel like I pretty much understand it. It's just me putting the work in. So, I mean, you're probably going to get the generic answer from everybody anyway. So, <laughs> like, why I even ask them? But, uh, nah, man, if we report, like, we, we enjoy what they're doing, what they're bringing to the community. So, that's okay. all we reach out for. Okay, fair enough. So let, let, let's 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 put you on the spot a little bit. Who uh between the two of y'all who has more shoes? Nah, that's no question. That's no question. <laughs> I do, and I will not let him catch up. Nah, that's not, I'm not even close. Like, I'm not even close. <laughs> probably lapped me twice already. Like it's it's not even close. So so if there's a if there's a if there's a drop that week or multiple drops. How do y'all determine who gets to pick up that week or, and who gets to sit on the bench? Or do both of y'all just say, you know what? We're both going to get whatever we want this week. Hi, was it Battle Royal? What do y'all do? Uh, I mean, obviously it depends on what's coming out. Because some shoes that he likes, I don't like. So that's an easy one. But, um, I mean, if there are multiple shoes coming out and, uh, I mean, I guess if we can afford it, you know, <laughs> we're both caught. So. Okay. I'm, I'm glad. I have to be responsible. So I'll take that role and it's like, you know, I'll take, I don't have to get every shoe that comes out. Check you out. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't. Hear it. And you realize that after you get a shoe, it's like, do I really need that? Like, I don't need it like that. I'm I never feel that way. So. Yeah, she was. Really like <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, uh, I don't know about that. You know, I'm not there yet. But I don't just get any shoe. Like, obviously I get what I like, so. Okay, right, right. Like see, see Marcus, I, I admire you, man. I'm I'm one of those guys, and I'm sure y'all heard me say it all the time. I can't be with no female sneakerhead because <laughs> what you did last week, <laughs> what you did last week. <laughs> yeah, I, I was don't care if it's an anniversary, <laughs> birthday. What well, is the stuff I didn't I didn't want the shoe anyway? Like mm. it, it wasn't like like I said, if I was gonna get the shoe, it was gonna be strictly flipped. I'm not gonna wear it. Like I'm not. Why even get it? I, I feel you. I mean, but I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. Do it. I'm, all, I'm, all, I'm selfish. I mean, I'm not selfish in the sense like my girl, I spoil her, but she don't like sneakers. She likes red bottoms. You know, she like high end shoes. So I'm good with that. I ain't never got to worry about. It's like she don't like them fuck Jordans. Yeah, she got a pair of Jordans, but you know, she got a few red bottoms and you know shit like that. And that's what she likes. So I don't have to worry about that. You know, I can actually, I actually have her help me get the, the uh, kick. So I'm good. Right. Yeah, you. You're a better man than me, brother. You're good. I'm about to say I'm still I'm still catching heat over when I hit on the belugas. What was that? Last, year before last, and I got them and I flipped them four days later and got the OVO 12. And still to this day, last week my wife was like, "I still want a pair of Yeezys. I still want a pair of Yeezys." I'm like, "Okay, okay." 
And I, <laughs> I, I, I don't live that down. So the next drop, the next pair that come out, I think, what, June 9th or whenever, I'm going to have to try and pick those up. Just to, Hey, this, this show where, uh, where he was talking about slavery was a, was a choice. I'm like, <laughs> you still want these Yeezys? <laughs> we, we, we already went there, man. I was like, your boy, you know, he's like, I'm his biggest fan. I was like, your boy, wild not. I said, I ain't buying no damn Yeezy. Finish. Hey, I still, I still wear them. Hey, if she want, if she want them, it's all good. I can't, I can't, you know, be like that. So, um, so last question I have is, what's the, what's the, you guys have a goal or a end goal or a vision as far as with the channel moving forward, or is this something that you guys want to say, hey, it's fun, we're just gonna keep doing it as is. Um, of course, we always want to grow. I mean, it's it's definitely fun doing it. Uh, you always want it to turn into to something big. So I won't ever say that. I don't want it to get any bigger than this, but you know, it's just, it's, it's something that we can control that we can create, you know, with our own two hands or whatever. And, you know, just see where it goes. Like it's, it's fun doing it. It's not hurting us to do it. So okay. just, rather than just sitting at the house or right <laughs> doing nothing <laughs> or going hey. out to a movie or something. So hey, nothing wrong with that. Shoot. I'd love to get out and just go to a movie. You know, instead of watching Dora, but you know, <laughs> it don't happen like that. So, all right, well, cool. Um, we'll open it up to the panel. You guys have any uh, any questions? I think you pretty much covered everything, man. You did a good job. Okay, I ran in my mouth too much. My girl just told me that she's gonna become a sneakerhead. So, thank y'all. <laughs> oh, yeah, see that that did is that is the plus of my wife not watching the show. She's like, oh, I want to support you, but I'm like, no, no, you good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so you need like bandwidth. You can't watch the show. You can't watch the show till afterward. <laughs> nah, I don't, I don't want her to see the pickups piece because supposedly my pickups are very non-existent, which we know is not true. So, yeah. so you be sneaking shit in the house? Is what you're saying? Uh, yes, yes, weekly. <laughs> <laughs> I will not lie. <laughs> All right, I'm good. We good. Let's hit it. Let's keep it moving. All right, so we're gonna do pickups and. I'm going to go first because I only have one pair. And uh, I know y'all don't like these because y'all was y'all was like, oh, yeah, you know. But I, I did pick up the uh, – we, we didn't have a show last week. So I got the Homage to Home, and I actually doubled up on them. I like the shoe. I mean, it's two of my favorite ones put in one. You know, people can say that they look like clown shoes or whatever. But it is what it is, man. I think <laughs> – Nigga, you like a clown without these shoes on, <laughs> clown ass nigga. So, uh, but no, I, I I like them. So you know, we'll we'll have a story time about that next week uh, when we have a little bit more time. But uh, but yeah, yeah. The uh, home, uh, how much to home? That's all I got though. All right. Who's up next? Hell, I'll go. You know, I ain't got that many either. I got two pair. We got LeBron Big Bangs. Bang bang bang. Bang bang! Shout out to Birdo Nine Ten Condition. Gave me a great deal on these and shipped them over. And when I got the shoes, even threw in a shirt for me. Unfortunately, I'm too damn fat for it right now. So you know, maybe in two months I'll take a shirt picture for you when I'm not so fat. That's a and, dope pair. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna have to talk to you about it because uh, I liked your shots with the. We still gotta talk about the glow. I gotta get that shit, but I'm just busy, Dan. So I'm gonna definitely hit whenever you up. You, whenever you're ready. And um, and then I also picked up the uh, Ochre ones. I, you know, man, I'm definitely the I'm salty because salty? because I had picked up oh. the, the red pair on fucking uh, StockX. Oh, <laughs> and I picked up the red pair on StockX, and they were like, "Hey, something happened, so we're gonna refund you your money back." And I'm like, "Well, they didn't pass." Know. They didn't pass the process. That's the email you get when they don't pass the process or they no. don't mail them out. No, he hit me back and said the box wasn't in the right shape. I said, fuck the box. Nigga, send me the shoes. Right. <laughs> it was a good price. I was so salty. And then, that's, you know, then I spent that money on other shit. So that's the crazy thing, man. <laughs> you should be given the option to say, hey, look, it's right. this card or it's this. Do you still want the shoe? Like, you know, that's something. Nah. Yeah, let's not get started on that BS. And off of everything for Jordan, man. Now we're supporting his gambling addiction, his best hand in the game thing. <laughs> <laughs> everything. Jordan, basically, we're going to be marketing the Hanes underwear. It's going to be a Jordan one with those out. 
<laughs> well, you know, made, we out of, made out of white cotton. That's what it's called. Made, <laughs> made white with a, with a hand sticker on the back and that little like pee pee hole thing they got. Oh, on the back. No, that's gonna be the toe box. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You stick your tongue through it. Yep. <laughs> big toe right through that motherfucker. <laughs> oh man, and that, that's all I got. By the way, Ben, if I didn't, I, oh, there you are, Ben. I hate you, by the way, sir. I'm. I'm Oh yeah, yeah, he got some yeah. yellow joints too. Yeah, man, he's, oh, he's over one. there though. I it don't matter. He got them and yeah. Ben, I hate you, but I love you. All right, let's, <laughs> let's keep it Jordan one draw set. All right, so like, <laughs> which, which <after> that? <laughs> um, I got you want me to go? Or you want oh, you to try the beer? <laughs> go. Uh, um, so, um, I got those. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't think you liked um, them for some reason. I didn't know you had, had them. No, like I wasn't gonna get them. Um, but Soul Play ATL did that thing. Oh, right, I saw you. you know, and they reserved me a pair, and I had to go down to Macon, um, for some service stuff, um, with the church. And my mom was in town. They're like, "Hey, they just called up here." <laughs> you want me to go get them? And I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> she, went, she went and bought them for me. So shout out to the moms, man. And what shoe is that again for the podcast? Huh? What shoe is that for the podcast? Oh, this is the um, Amish to Home. Okay. Um, and it's dope. I mean, it's all right. It's weird, though. I, I, I haven't worn it yet. <laughs> so it's weird. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I think it's one of those shoes I'm just going to kind of have and, like, not wear. It'll just be, like, for pictures only. Like, it's just, like a collector's shoe, man. Exactly. Right. It's a shoe right. that I wanted to have before everybody else and, and walk right. around with. And then That's, now that everybody and their mom got them, like, you got to put them in the vault for a while. And, then, you know, the right. price that I spent originally. All right, we're going. In, we're going. <laughs> yeah. Like, let's not jump into that topic quite yet. But, I mean, it's like, it's a, it's a shoe that is. Like Jordan didn't do stuff like that, so I got it. Um, and then I got, got uh, I got these. All right. Mm -hmm. from, from, yeah, from the footage, footage, the hoot to people that uh, support uh, Talking Kicks, uh, Talking Kicks Footage Society. Okay. Oh, okay, nice yeah. Ferrari Fortune. Shout out to okay. Talking Kicks. I see Beard yeah. in the sh in the chat. yeah, and they're super clean. I think they were dead stock. Um, Dang. I didn't see no wear on them, and I got them for two fifty. So that's a good price for those. Really yeah. Oh, really? damn. Yeah. And then there was a sneak. They sneaked these SVSMs. Oh god! They <laughs> came to my Foot Locker, and I didn't know about it. And it was just like somebody somebody hit me up, and they were like, "Yo, they got them at that Foot Locker." I'm like, "Oh no shit!" So I was like, "Nope." So damn. I went up there, and I got this pair, and then I'll show. And then I um, hit up. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, yes. Jenkins. I hit up Jenkins, and he went and got a pair, and they only had one fourteen, um, and he got it. There was no so, line for those. Nah, didn't nobody nobody knew they was coming. Nobody oh, never yeah, first come first serve. They did the same thing at my Foot Locker too, and then I had already got them off of Nike before I could have went and they got them. They were on the launch locator. Yeah. No, they, put, they didn't. I was looking nah. for them on the launch locator. They never showed up on there. Oh no, they, they, they showed up. Didn't either. Uh -uh. They showed yeah. up in Jersey. Yeah. You had no. You had to go online and go to footlocker.com backslash unlocked uh, and find okay. it, and then that's where you could see where they were at. It was oh, ridiculous. Shit. Um, really? Then I got this badass birthday present. Mm. Yeah, welcome to the the Buckeye State. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> this pair is super dope. Um, yeah, go ahead and show them. Yeah, and look at that, like. Yeah, that little guy right there. That's Give us some details, that's, sir. What is Brutus. this? That's Brutus. That's Brutus for you. So yeah, this is the LeBron, <laughs> LeBron six Ohio State PE. Um, they're nice. super dope. Um, shout out, shout out to her for these birthday present. She's amazing. Who? Um, Steph Smitty. Oh, Smitty. Smitty. Yeah. She uh she forgot it was my birthday. Um, wow. and then I got some I got some like super bad news on my birthday. And she's oh, like, yo, uh, she made my birthday all right. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. When something super bad had happened. But so also, I don't, I'm not, I don't remember if I showed these kicks, but I definitely put them all over my Instagram. Yeah, you, you didn't show them yet. Oh, you ain't show them. I hate you, buddy. This is like this is like one of my grails of grails, like of all time. Um, 
I can't even believe that I own this shoe. So it's the mm. um, the mm. fake. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, the what the MVP. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> hold up now. That's how you treat a gram? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the, the what, what the, the what the MVP LeBron 10. Yeah, like, yeah. Um it's literally my, my most favorite shoe in my whole collection. Like out of 300 yeah. and some odd 300 and some odd pair. Like this is my favorite shoe. I've worn them like three times. Like <laughs> I went. I went and spoke at a DUI school with these motherfuckers on. That nobody knew what I had on my feet. I went to Kroger and these motherfuckers. Uh, <laughs> I'm wearing these sons of. I'm wearing these sons of bitches everywhere. Like, oh, what you got on? Bam, motherfucker! You ain't seen these. <laughs> <laughs> what they are. Um. So we've only seen them 782 times in the chat. But <laughs> <laughs> I love them, hoes. I really do. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, that's my pickups. Um, and again, shout out to Steph Smitty for uh, making my day a little bearable. Thank you for that. All right, yeah, and so I'm sorry, mates. I'm kind of a kind of a bummer. No, you good, man. So mates, y'all got. Yeah, um, so you you already mentioned my pickup. This is my one pickup at these mm. off white joints. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, got two more yeah. weeks with with to have to look at them things, and they're gonna disappear. Oh. Man. Oh, you know, you just reminded me. I need to freeze UPS from delivering them tomorrow. Thank you for saying that. Why y'all do that? Let me do that. Uh, <laughs> only one else I got, the uh, only pickup I got, I already did a video on it, so you guys will probably see it soon, is I haven't seen too many people have this shoe yet, but this is from the Art of the Champion. Is that hey. Bill Russell? Bill Russell. Wait a minute. Okay. Okay. Chuck Taylor. I haven't seen too many people have this one. Were those on the sneakers app? I don't remember seeing that one. No. Yeah, it was on sneaker, Sneakers out, but I actually had to get this off StockX. Oh, that's right. That's so, oh, okay. I didn't see that yeah. one. Yeah, I got it off of StockX, and I think I only paid like $20 over retail. Oh, that's not bad, yeah. I wanted, I really wanted this shoe, and I was really trying to get it, and it sold out quick. And I'm like, who's getting them? Because I don't see anybody posting any <coughs> Resellers. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's <laughs> get this. <laughs> but yeah, I had to get this one. This was a dope one. Yeah, it's a nice pickup. Yeah, that's it for us. That's it for us. All right, well, I'll go last, and I'm, I didn't bring out all my pickups, and I still got too many. Oh, oh I forgot. I mean, but it's been a while since I've been on the show, too, and then my birthday and all that. I'm, stuff. Stuff. I'm slowing down. I can't do I mean, it. after right now, I got to slow down because uh, it. my, my hand got Stop. slapped. So, uh, yeah, I got to I gotta slow down. First, slap. Yeah, shut up. You <laughs> need, need, need to slap your face. So, first, we're going to start with the Air Max 97, the Metallic Goals. I finally got them on a the restock. I had been walking hey. these for a minute, so... I, I thought you excited. had those, man, until I saw Ooh. you post. Man, remember Ooh. when you didn't like them at all? I do remember. <laughs> it's your fault, Kev, because you the one sent me to the store looking for them, uh, <laughs> them uh, silver bullets, and they had my size, and that's that started it all. So it's all your fault, man. And then Daniel don't help; he just adds to it. So <laughs> yeah, you racking up on ninety sevens over there. Yeah. So then I got the uh, Animal Pack ninety five that I picked up. I, I love this shoe, the this Wakanda. Shoe. Yeah, Wakanda my, my Wakandas. That shit uh, made me throw up in my mouth. <laughs> Vibranium. <laughs> but I, I can't wait to, to rock this. I got to figure out what I'm going to wear with it, but I'm pretty excited. You can wear that. one of them uh, King Joffy Jofer with the <laughs> thing. <laughs> you can wear it with, a, with a zebra print loincloth. <laughs> it's okay, bye bye. <laughs> and like most everybody else, well, I'm late to the party. Y'all got y'all really? got y'all. I got, y'all's I got wait listed, hell. The uh, cap and gown, prom nights, whatever you want to call them, the blackouts. Finally added those. And I think a lot of people changed their mind when they actually got those in hand, man. I knew it was going to happen because people were trashing that shoe when oh, yeah. they sleep. I yeah, and everybody kept comparing it to the Gamma. It blowed the Gamma away. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not, the Gamma ain't got nothing on that, that, that pair. That pair was super dope. Yeah, yeah. It so makes I, the Gamma look like a flea market shoe. Yeah, yeah. Is that, really? What's the... Yeah. Uh, Damn, now I got to check. <laughs> now you got to buy it because everybody else got it. Nah, uh, fuck that. I ain't it's paying. It's not a shoe you need, though. It's not a shoe you need. Yeah, no, that's and that's not. the thing. You know me in black. I don't. I can't do it all. What? That's a, do that's a dope pair. Yeah, that's my beater pair. I wear them motherfuckers everywhere. Uh, I can't beat them. You already breeze. beat can't No, beat not beaters. It's just like the pair that I like. I grab. Go to. Oh, you know? I got you. Like, I don't really have beaters. You know? Shit, I got three. I'll be beating. I got some. This was this was my one of my birthday 
presence. So, uh, yeah. I ain't knowing mine, huh? And then, <laughs> man, quick story on this, on the off-white ones. Uh. Me and my girl was in the <laughs> elevator, and I have my Apple Watch on, invest in the Apple Watch. I got my J23 notifications turned on, and I look at my watch, and it's like J23 on there. I immediately went to my phone, and it was showing that you can get the off-whites. So I went into it, hit buy, boom. It took that was probably the quickest I've ever got a reply back on any street on there. So I was I was pretty hyped. It was funny, like all the guys in my my job, I ran in, told them they was all trying to get him. One guy ended up getting two pair, but damn, oh, that's copper pair. Yeah, he got I, two. I owe you and Jenkins for that for sure because I got the note of I literally just took lunch, got the notification that said go to sneakers, and I was like, you ain't even say what shoe. I said fuck this. I ain't even look. <laughs> Next thing you know, the chat, you and Mike Jenkins got him, got him. I was like, oh, jumped right on. 11 and a half sold out. And then uh, up to a 12. So if it weren't for y'all two, I, I'd have been pissed. So. You're going to be mad. This this was 11 and a half, man. <laughs> oh, were? Man, yeah, I, I had 11 and a half turned on. Here's the thing. I had 11 and a half turned on to try to get you them LeBrons. So I had it turned oh. on, on there and end up okay. getting them. So, and then my last two. Uh, I got these Puma MCM uh, 50th anniversary collab. Man, Crash Monday. We, we, we was at the at the mall <laughs> the other day, and I was like, "Man, let me run an MCM right quick and see if they got them." They had one pair of Elevens, and the people from all over the company was calling trying to get this one size. At first, I was like, "Man," but then when everybody started calling, I was like, "Okay, give it to me." So, <laughs> they they told you that everybody's been calling for these, and no, I mean while we were in the store. They were on the phone with people calling in, and one guy was getting a text message, and they were saying that this was like the last pair in the company. So I was like, bring them up. And if you look, I mean, yeah, the resale on them is, is pretty up there. What oh, is it? it? Is? 300 yeah. for the uh re for the regular retail? Yeah, the shoe was 350. God oh, damn. Ooh. Some pumas? Man, you paying for it's MCM, dude. You paying for the, the leather quality and the suede that it's, you would get on the it's MCM. Made out, it's made out of made like a bag. It's like a bag. It's made Y'all just got a what size you is it? You got a purse? You got a purse. <laughs> I want a backpack and I want the sweatsuit to go with. Now, if you're talking about them and the price on them, my last shoe that I got was my birthday gift from a girl. My Put Christian, real my Christian Louboutins. Put real she, 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 hey, she not here. She you not got here, a Louboutin like. banana hammock. <laughs> Call it what you want. This shoe shits over every Jordan. <laughs> Or whatever you got, I mean, a suede on here, man. This this true suede. When you brush that suede, you can see it changing. I mean, the comfort on this shoe is amazing. Stop stroking it's, it's, it's a dope. I, I mean, I stroke it, boy. Let me tell you. Oh, oh, <laughs> tell you. Podcast. He's talking about the shoe. I mean, stroking. <laughs> but yeah, my Christian Louboutin uh, flat, the electric blue. This this is top of my my shoe collection right now. I love this thing, man. It's such a dope shoe and. It's got me one more, so there will be more added to the collection, and that's that's it. Like I said, I got more, but I'm not gonna show everything else. I cannot roll my eyes any harder. That's all good. You about to get robbed? I would wear these <laughs> Lebrons that you bought. <laughs> hey, you I know. LeBron. I love and my Lebron. I ain't nothing against Lebron. It's just a shoe that's. I'm 46 years old. I'm not gonna be walking around with 50 million colors on my feet. You got red uh, bottoms, wait, the, MC, <laughs> the MCM got what three colors? What three colors? Dan shoe got 47 colors on there. Oh, you talking <laughs> about the, oh, oh, oh the MCM's got more than four colors. No, nah, they don't. Red, white, 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 red. Blue. No, I get I get what he's saying though. I meant like the shoe is bright as fuck, but that's like some of the appeal for me is that it's like, and then plus you can like identify every little part, like every shoe that came over, all the like all of the tens. Are on here in some way or fashion, and that's fucking dope. It's a dope shoe. It's just, it's not me. It would, I would never wear it. I mean, just like I'm not gonna wear my homage to Holmes. But it's be like, looking for pictures for those on those on Wednesday. Be looking for wow. pictures. Wait, wait, wait. For my combo, my combo, man. I'm combo gonna kill it on Wednesday. And now combo gonna kill it. No matter where I'm at. No matter where I'm at. You be sitting in the toilet shitting on the game with the plunger in the background. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, God. Keep going. Yeah, uh, that's, all right, right. that's it. So, so then go it. ahead. Let me go ahead. Out. Yeah, let me lock you in.
Hey, J23 out for president. Yes, sir. <laughs> Man. Indeed. Got yeah, my vote. I need to shake this guy's hand. I don't know who he is. <laughs> but you know, oh, I, I, on, on the real, we need to quit telling everybody about it because once people learn and they start spending that dollar, take they can oh, uh, I don't even do that. Twitter. I ain't that cheap. They won't even spend the two dollars, man. I know yeah, you're right. right. I didn't. I, I, I just follow them on Twitter. I had the family share, so I was <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I'm a part of the family. Give me that code. <laughs> ain't no code, Nick. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with the Harden <laughs> two, the Olive. I I hadn't seen much on the Hardens this year. I know last year, you know, was kind of a big shoot, but I hadn't seen too much on these or what they like. They don't. It's kind the of new, new Planet of the Eight boots. Yeah, <laughs> ugly, man. Got yeah, a big booty on. <laughs> oh like damn! Sea mollusk. You set a set a, <laughs> set a drink on that ass. <laughs> <laughs> then we got the Nike LeBron Soldier One. Yes. I, I want yes. this shoe, but uh yeah, I'm on punishment, so I'm gonna be getting I'm this. gonna try for it. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get them too. I need none them. of y'all got didn't they have a, a, a quick drop or something on these? Yeah, I couldn't get yeah, them. Yeah, I tried, I tried. It says you just okay. missed them. Yep, me too. Yeah, I missed Man. those. That's I didn't know. Shoe. I'm going to get them now. That's a dope shoe. Yeah, I'll, I'll add it whenever I'm off punishment. I'll add it to the collection. How you on punishment, nigga? You the oldest nigga. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> Slave man, you got, came back and got him. <laughs> <laughs> got the Air Max 98, the all over camo print. Not right. a bad looking shoe. It's yeah, not right. bad. Not yeah. needed. Especially for a 98. It's not bad. Did you get those other 98s? Those all red joints that dropped last week? Uh it was I was going to buy them when I walked into the MCM store and bought the Pumas. And then oh. that's when it was told to me, go ahead and buy those. I like those. I want you to buy those. And then when you walk out the store, you have bought too many shoes. <laughs> oh same. man, you got a big switch. I was like, uh, what you want, girl? Let me you know, but, uh, said, yeah. it doesn't matter how many shoes I bought. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it with that rock. <laughs> let me uh let me ask y'all a question because yeah, uh, I when I saw the feel of 96s, those I was maybe third or fourth grade, so that was the shoe I was into. I was the Air Max 97s and 98, were they really that big at the time? Did people really want those shoes at that time? Or is this just the trend now? Because I don't remember really popping no, it. People were, people were, where I live, people were rocking the yeah, like, silver bullets were, were big. Yeah. It was, it was but, like you, but you can walk in any store and buy them. They didn't sell out. They went well, no, back our, in the day. Like our 97, our silver bullets sold out quick. Yeah. But that and was I right when shoes started selling out. Uh, okay. I knew 95s was a high commodity. I remember 95s used to be just as much as Jordans. And yeah. then after that, I didn't really see kids my age with 97s or 98s. So I was like, I never really liked the shoe anyway. And then I'm seeing them now. It's like, I still don't like that shoe. And I don't know what the big craze is about it. Yeah, the, yeah. I think the Tailwinds actually sold a lot more than the 97. I, the I cannot wait fire. for Tailwinds. I cannot wait for Tailwinds. I really hope they bring them back. I really, really do. That's so many sick colors of those. Yeah, exactly. But but this this shoe is big and chunky and you know, like the ninety fives were huge, are huge, and will, will forever be the best Air Max beside number mm. one. I, you know, the Air Max one. Yeah. I don't like ninety five. Definitely disagree. <laughs> I don't like ninety five. Those Air Max. And <laughs> like I think, like I think Air Max ninety fives are like one of those things where you either love them. Or you absolutely fucking hate them. They have like that really short, like the toe box is kind of yeah, narrow. It's got a thong oh, so yeah. the thong toe you box. can get that. Yeah, you can get that toe pinch. Like that little toe can get ate the fuck up mm -hmm. if you're not, that's if you're not that's, careful. That's why I've never yeah. had a pair. You, you just gotta go up a half a size, you know, and you'll be all right. Yeah, like, like for you, get a twelve or or a thirteen or a seven because you're a full <laughs> size. <laughs> Whatever size you got, I'll shove this whole motherfucker in there. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm good Sorry. at cramming Keep things into things. I, I got I got out of pocket. I apologize. What is that red air money? What is that? That's a kid's shoe. Oh. Yes. GS. University red and gold. Looks like a garbage San shoe. San Francisco 49ers. Yes. Yeah, I wish they I wish they fucking didn't. 
Nah, <laughs> monies, I'm just tired. Uh, yeah. They weren't. They definitely weren't cool when they first came out. And that's why I don't get why they brought that back. That because first one they brought back soul, but after that, they it, yeah, it's them. the only. It's the only Nike basketball shoe that was retired. Like all the other ones had a retro at some point, except for that pair. Like I think they they should have brought that pair out before they bought the up tempos because then people would have been like, oh, I got the up tempo bottom, and they finally bring out the up tempos, and then they'd be like, yeah. well, shit, now we got to buy these too. Yeah, I can see that. Because yeah, oh. those things are ass. Small's not oh. here to talk about these. Yeah, I, I was trying to bring this up for Mall, but it's not. That's funny. It ain't no so, picture. There. We're gonna There's go a picture. Ahead. But for whatever reason, my screen ain't loading. We're gonna go. Oh, I see them there. They're mm -hmm. not. They're they're not terrible. The fives. Whatever. No. Whatever those like. No, look, they look like running shoes though. Yeah, they're put, similar to a uh, Harden. You can't hoop. I, I couldn't shoe. hoop in those though. though. That would be a, a problem. Yeah, I can't. I can't ball in a low cut shoe. Oh, but shoot. they're not. They're they're probably the best curry I've ever seen though. I'm yeah, and I think them. I think I think you can do something with the lacing system that they have on there. Like you can make it look a little fresh, a little fly. Like instead of just like, because what are you gonna do with the laces on the four? You know, you have to have them because yeah. they have that like foamy construction. So, but but this pair you can kind of lay them loose, kind of like on the um, the KD ten. Okay. You can make them real loose and let them hang, and it kind of gives a draped appearance. I don't know. I is this a make. game? Is this a game shoe for for Curry, or is this just like an off the court kind of shoe? Because he's got horrible rubber band ankles, and he doesn't need. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he always he always wears those um those braces. Yeah, I mean, on, on his ankle. He's All right, so like, well, you know, the the four came up really high, and I think that's why they came out with the five, like almost you know really fast. But the four came up really high, so I was I was always curious as to uh, how that four. Played with him playing in the big ass ankle braces. Yeah, I think that's why in the championship or in the final, you know, they're running for the final. They're like, let's drop this low. Oh, so he could wear the brace. Man. But Hard right. Harden, and Chris Paul be shaking him up. Oh, oh Harden, Harden's shoe is garbage. <laughs> no, Harden shakes up everybody though, so you can't make that comparison. Harden, I mean, Harden socks. <laughs> He's got some. He's got some Scott Bale, Charles and Charge socks on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm my socks and his shorts. He got them. He got them Cliff Huxtable uh, shorts <laughs> when he ran in there. When he ran with the sweatpants on the bottom. I pull up the shoe that Mo said he want me to try to go after for him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Tyler to create a Converse one star. Hey, what's up with your computer? Not sure not, man, you got that. You got that porn blocker on there. <laughs> yeah, I should have fixed that before we got home. Bestiality. So you got that computer from Wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and yeah, that's that's. Is it? Uh, are there any? Uh, are there any J's coming out? Oh, here we go. I forgot about the. Yeah, uh, I'm about to say hold up now. The Air Max at most. Yeah. We love Nike. Yeah. Anybody going after any of these? I'm I not, like but it. I don't think that they're bad. But I, I'm, I'm yeah. done. I'm done with I'm, one or not. I'm, I'm the same way with it. With um, as Kev saying, like when it comes to that Air Max One, I I think the Air Max One is dope. Um, I think they did a good job at the ninety as well. Um, the blue pair, like the Air Max One, I think is the best pair of the group. Oh um, yeah, for sure. But again, like it's one of those like I'm kind of done with the Air Max One, like. I've got all the ones that I want. You got if they come out with the Pata ones, the uh, chlorophyll, if they redo that one, that's probably the only one. That oh, I want. yeah. That bitch goes hard. It's got the corduroy on it. Yeah. Um, and so. they're expensive. <laughs> yeah, now. Now they're yeah. expensive. Like, I, heard, I heard they were, like, redropping them, so. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll yeah. see. Y'all messing with them falcon gray pink Adidas? <laughs> Oh, oh Lord! Go back. Where do you see that at? No, they right next to right the next Atmos. to it. Them nursing home joints. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure. oh. They look like somebody named Timothy would wear those. Like you got to say his <laughs> name like that too. He'd beat your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! All right, use. is that it? That's it. All right, let me go ahead and fix 
next this. Wait, yeah, so there are no J's next week. That's hmm. that's that's surprising. Wow, I couldn't tell you the last time there was yeah, okay. Well, it's, it's good. Bad. It's yeah. good, and that's what that's really what Jordan needs to do. They need to stop saturating the market. They need to stop doing that. They need to allow, um, you know, like I mean, like again, I that I have like eight pair or well four pair that I want, um, that I have room for, um, that I've you know made room for. But I think they need to slow the fuck down. Last year was an assault. Why am I on two screens? What? You're oh, good. my right. bad. Oh. He's on two. <laughs> he was caught you slipping. Other time over here. My bad. <laughs> We're trying no, to see you, old man. We're trying to see you. We're going to go ahead and uh, head uh, balls deep into the gap. Cool. You're on nope. the <laughs> just, just raw. I apologize, I apologize for my vulgarity, but uh, this uh, episode of uh, Midso Gap is brought to you by 8 and 9 Manufacturing. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out the link in the description below to save yourself 20% on some, some dope 8 and 9 apparel. And they do have a sale today. Um, it's $10 t-shirts. On, well, certain t-shirts are 10 bucks. So go ahead and check it out. 8 and 9. But uh, we bring you right into the gap, man. And I'm going to go ahead and run this one today because, uh, you know, our friend one Lady Lister, you know, he's just he's chilling. I told him, you know, go ahead and sit down. I got this. Uh, but the gap is gas, ass, or pass. Gas gets you two points. Ass gets you zero points. And the pass will get you one point. Um, we all have selected shoes. And today, the, sh the shoe selection is designer shoes. I hate this one because I don't, I mean, I'm not into designer shoes, man. I'm in the, you know, I'm in the Jays. I'm I'm tacky. I, you know, I'm, I'm, un I'm down here where Marcus is way up there. So, yeah, you know, same. um, so you know, we're gonna go ahead and, and, and kick things off. And to today, we're gonna do it like we've been doing it. Um, you only get two gases on the panel, the chat <clears throat> can go on unless gas if they want to, unless you ask somebody's, and then you'll get yourself an extra, um, gas. An extra gas or whatever. I feel like it's so, gonna be a lot of ass today. Oh, it's gonna be plenty of cheeks. Cheeks for weeks, and I don't and, see no, I don't see no ass. Cheeks in the I'm, chat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get it started with mine because I'm running it, and uh, <laughs> these are the Fear of God basketball shoes. Like they have a, such a corny name for these shoes, but um, these are the Fear of God basketball shoes. I picked them because I thought they looked like the uh, the Jordan ones, of course. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say, and uh, I, I would I would rock these because they look like that. But would I pay that price tag? Probably not. You know, it's just ridiculous. I don't care if it's made out of cows that were. I don't know. I don't care. I, I lost only it on fed that. babies. Only yeah. fed babies. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't care about that that type of quality. So here they are. Fear God. Ass gas. Okay. Yes, the guy. I'll go first. Um, so this is what I was talking about with the Jordan One. How no matter what, like that's the shoe. Like that is, Jordan One is the shoe because even designer brands mock that up. Like, like I know that this is the homage to home, but this is this is the Chicago side, and you tell me that that's not a blatant ripoff. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, yeah. and, I, and I and I know that Fear of God is about to have a collab with Nike, so I mean that's going to be kind of cool. I imagine it's going to be out the tents. Um, these are dope. Um, what I don't like is the fucking midsole. It's, yeah, it's uh, kind of it's kind of thick, thick with two C's. <laughs> so um, for me, this is a pass. It's not bad. It's All right. Mike. Um, I am actually. I'm gonna give these a gas. I, I I'm with Dan, Daniel. Excuse me. I'm with Daniel as far as everything he said about you know having like the Jordan One, uh, Chicago feel the upper, but yeah, that 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 midsole is just super thick. I mean, it's like a almost like a platform shoe. But I guess I, I also don't really like the the angle. Like you got the straight up 
back back shot on this. I wish I had a single <laughs> more in the profile, but you know, I'm a I'm a gas. It's just for the upper, but that by the bottom at is ass. It's all about the booty anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, no comment. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a gas him too. I I I think I like this pair. So uh, yeah, they they get a gas. I don't see too many other things I'm a gas anyway. So yeah, <laughs> I, can, I can I can I can see Marcus wearing these. Oh yeah, I rock the hell out. I wear all of these on him, but yeah, well, except for, for one sure. pair. One pair I wear. Except for what? It's just one pair I wouldn't wear, but we'll get to that. <laughs> Is that my pair? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> so you get saying it. anything. I think. So mates. So mates. I'm now, do they good. both get a boat or do they come together? Like, are they? I'm I'm a little yeah, they separate. They two different people. They got different but likes and dislikes. I'm not really in the okay. designer shoes. I'm gonna yeah, let her have it. No, well, no, you ain't in the designer we, either. They have to vote together, otherwise, because you don't get the you don't get to vote on your own. Yeah, you don't get to vote on your own. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So y'all gotta come together. So work as a team. Show us that y'all are really soulmates. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say pass. I don't know. Yeah, I was gonna say ass, but I see some other ones that I might ask. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, you you got as many ass. Yeah, as you, you can want. use as many you ass as ass as you want. Okay. Um, I would say this is like the worst shoe I've seen. That midsole is what makes me want to pass it. It's just right. it's like it should come with a helmet. Right. <laughs> Big. Wow! I, so, I can't. I can't do that one, man. So y'all, so y'all, y'all passing that one. All right. I ain't mad at y'all. Nah, what did, what did the a... chat? What did the chat say? Because I can't pass. Pass. So yeah, pass. pass. All right. So I finish with seven, and hopefully we never do this one again. Yeah, I, I did this for Marcus. I did this for Marcus. <laughs> Next, uh, we're gonna go. Do mine. Do mine. I want to see mine get fucked up. I gotta get Man, uh, not at all. Come on, we now. gotta get it out of the way. Let's go. All right, here you go. No, right. no, no, not. Oh, oh. Uh, so I can't tell if mine's up on the screen yet. It's, up, it's up there. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not mine. No, yeah, that's it is. Oh, it's, 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 oh. I'm, well, I'm, you have to understand. I'm watching it on the screen, waiting for it to get big. There we go. So uh, this <laughs> is. Uh, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> so this is Kanye's uh, collab, and. For me, like I think it's different. Um, I, I like the pink. I like that bright pink on there, and I, I get that it's not. I get that it's a, a girl color, and I say shit like that in jest, <laughs> um, especially about UNC stuff. And that's really a jab at Mall. So, ladies, if I offended you ever by saying that's a girl shoe, my apologies. Um, but with this particular pair, I think it's cool because there's like the cool gray, and then the the brown heel cap, and then that pink sole just kind of like gives it something different. Um, I like the leather laces with the little tassel and I like the futuristic straps. I mean, like, I, this is the Kanye time frame that I missed. So um, this is my shoe, man. Well, let me jump in here first. Can, can I go next? Because I'm, I'm looking at the chat. Next, next as far as your shoe or next as far, <laughs> no, as far as my opinion? Because I'm looking oh, at the hey, chat. Hey, Shinobi hey, oh. said uncool, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> That's just funny, though. Man, it, I'm, nice I'm, I realized today how much of uh -oh. hype beast we have in the chat because the only person that I thought was going to like this shoe was Ryan Swinging. Now, when I see D Beck and and I and I figured uh, Kristen would like this shoe, but other people in here who I know would probably not rock this and surely wouldn't give it a gas if somebody else's name besides Kanye was on this shoe. That, that let me know right there. We got a lot of hype beasts watching this show. Cause oh, these are fire. <laughs> these are absolute. These Jaspers. I've been trying to find these for I forever. I can't find them. This shoe. I would add this shoe to my market collection show. only to have it in my collection. That's it. I mean, so I would, you would buy it though. I, I wouldn't. I would buy it for retail. Period. That's so a, it's still expensive though. You would buy it. What was retail on them? It was I don't know. Like it was whatever the price of the Jasper is. I know it's like 400, 500. I think it's more than that. Nah, I, think I think it's, it's eight something. Yeah, I think it's it was eight. Something. Yeah, it's about between eight and, and a grand. I, I would buy it to have it. I would never wear it. Oh man, what? I would, never I, wear it. I would wear this pair for sure. Nah, yeah. I, I mean the, the, the graduation tassel on the side and, and the That's big dope. The big Bumper on the back. One type of tassels. I want to see these tassels on. But then them big, them big Velcro 
fat ass straps on there, man. <laughs> I mean, all I can think of is somebody in flash dance wearing these shoes. <laughs> Listen, uh, I said Leroy was leg, wearing them. Leg on them. <laughs> yeah. When I see these, all I could, I mean, for some reason, leg warmers come to mind. <laughs> So I mean, oh my god, I'm gonna pass. I'm not gonna ask them. I'm gonna pass oh, them because of what they are. But yeah, I'm just. I'm a, I want. Yeah, it's eight. Them. It's eight thousand for resale. So. Oh yeah, they're, yeah, they're ridiculous. Yeah, I'm a gas them. I think there's a five, I, and I don't care about Kanye. I don't buy. I don't yeah. buy Yeezys. Like I'm. I give a fucking who's shooting. I mean, the pink, I, I mean, pink colors, the pink pops. I mean, I like the style of the shoe. Personally, I get it. You know, you got the little thick ass straps and all Would that. You wear these? Would you wear these? Yes. I got pink, all pink cruises. I it's, wear those. It's not just about having pink. Man, I think I don't. I look, it's a simple style. I mean, I, I like it's Simple? It. It's like a one. Sim it's one. got tass tassels and Velcro. Man, I don't give a fuck about the Velcro. Now the tassels, I can do. Well, Mike's a hype beast, though. You know, so it's not even about that. Though. Like, I mean, I genuinely like the shoe. I mean, fuck, I cut the tassels off. I mean, so I mean, it looks like you would cut the tassels shit. off on that an expensive right. shoe. eight thousand dollars. Fuck out of here. Yeah, I'm not, right. I'm, but I'm not stressing the tassels, right? I mean, it's a small, it's a small. All right, so you, so you gas them. So, I'm gonna gas them. Yeah, so I've been trying to find them. I'm never so gonna have them. Oh, so no pause, So we losing. <laughs> oh, he's out. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, that's that area. Oh, mm, he's a bum. Right. But anyway, uh, Kev, what you got on this fan? I'm gonna let them go first. <laughs> um, uh, so mates, we are going to give this one an ass. <laughs> I like about the shoe is the pink. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, they tough. Yes, that's enough. Yeah. That's dope. I am going. I, I'll just I'll pass on them, but like I don't like the the neck braces on them. <laughs> and uh, I, and the only reason that I, that I didn't ask them was because they were Kanye, and then like the hype beast to me says you can't ask these, but I definitely I can't gas right. them. Um, so the, what did the, the chat gave you a gas, right? Yeah, yeah, they gave you gas. yeah, I'm going through it. Like, there's some pass, there were no asses, but it was passing yeah. gas. I gave you the gas. gas, so you got six. Damn. Somebody is not happy right now. You hear that? Yeah. Yeah. Is that you hear it? Yo, do okay. my shoe last. Hold on. I leave right. it. You're going to punch <laughs> that motherfucker in the face. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, knock him out. It's done. Knock or some diamond out. tabs or some shit. <laughs> All right. All right. What, you, what shoe's next? Marcus. Oh, is, is it already up? Yep. Yes, sir. The Christian Louboutin. I don't know how you pronounce it. Louboutin. Lubitons, okay. It's Lubitson. I'm, I'm not going to give you a fashion education today, but it's yes. Lubiton. Lubiton. Oh, not Lubiton. Anyway, yeah. Uh, I think this shoe is dope because just like y'all were saying, how that shoe care pick kind of looks like the Jordan one. This looks like a Jordan three. Right? Yeah, sure, sure and it's. I mean, I've seen it. This is a shoe I actually wanted for my birthday, but you can't find it anywhere. Period. And I mean. It's, it's a dope ass shoe to me. I don't care what the chat say. Honey, I say this this is the shoe for me. So yeah. Get the strap. Motherfucker said lubricants. <laughs> <laughs> what you got, um, dude? I'll go, I'll go for yeah. Um this is a gas, straight up. Like burgundy is my favorite color, maroon, you know, whatever. Um, and it does have hints of the three with the midsole, the toe cap, and the heel cap. Um, you know, I'm not really big on what do you call it? Designer shits like, but like this pair and the Balenciaga and the Jasper, like the like the red Balenciagas that Marcus has. Um, the wifey just weighed in. Marcus pronounced it correctly. Of course, why would why would anybody question me on, on pronouncing <laughs> a, a shoe uh, that I love? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can have the hashtag lubricant. I don't think <laughs> Christian <laughs> lubricant. So um yeah, this is a super this is a super gas for me. Like I wouldn't know how to rock this shoe, so I would never buy it. like if this shoe would not look right with my old navy shorts and my free <laughs> and my free t shirt. So yeah. <laughs> there's that. But gas, yeah, for sure. All right. Uh Mike. Mike. Mike, you back? You you're muted. Yeah, yeah, I'm good, sorry. All right. 
World War II upstairs. Uh, who should we? Let me see. Marcus. <laughs> Lou Bertan. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm get. I'm gonna gas these. I'm gonna gas these. I like that burgundy color. Yeah. Nice well, you're out of gases though. Uh. Oh fuck. Yeah, you're right. Wait. Oh, that's right. Okay. So it's a. It's a pass. Sorry, Marcus. Whatever. You can ask a shoe and get another gas. So if there's one on there you want to ask. But... Are you passing it? Or are you? What do you? But doing? I can't. Can I? But I. I can't take my ass and then come back to gas this. So since this was first, I'd, I'd have to pass, right? Yeah. Got, okay. Yeah. So I got to pass, Marcus. Sorry. I went all in on the ass too early. Paul. <laughs> Paul. Oh, sorry. All right, uh, Kev. Um. Uh, like I think I need to come back to. I I I don't think that they're a bad shoe at all. Like it's not it's not anywhere near ass. Um, I'm gonna I'll gas them because with the nature of what the the topic is, I wouldn't wear them. But they're probably one of the dopest out of the shoes that's that's on here. So okay. I will I will gas them. Uh, we we gas gas those too. I can see myself wearing those. It's uh, it's similar to like you guys said the the three with the midsole toe cap heel. I like the the red sock sock line too. That was just like a nice hand. Yeah, so I like that. And 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 you know that ship's like satin on the inside. Oh, it's so plush on the inside, man. It's so plush. Wait, do you have this? It's color anywhere in my size? Hmm. So, um, chat. What 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 is the chat saying? Seppi Zanati. Blue. He got it. He got it. You about, you about to get something. Oh, like, yeah, shut your Ooh, oh, <laughs> oh, not like oh. that. Damn. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm like a, what did you say, a royal blue with a little zipper on the side, a little strap at the top. You know, I like these. I would definitely pick these up. You know, I think they were, I don't know, women's. I don't know. Uh, I, this is the, my other gas. Um, I like, I like the, the shape and the build of this. Um, it kind of reminds me of uh, a blazer, um, a Nike yes. blazer. It's just yes. an SB shoe, and I dig SBs. Um, but uh, I do like the actual construction of the shoe. And I actually went and looked because you know we we email these to each other way before the show comes on. Uh, it's not not always way before because can't be pissed about it. But. <laughs> <laughs> Kev, Kev straight up sent us a fucking timer on our calendar. <laughs> we, we all have iPhones. So this motherfucker just straight up sent a calendar reminder. So it just pops up, sends your shit in. You know, we gotta be um, so I, I researched this shoe and like the, the actual like men's colors are really, really dope. Like the leather looks really dope. Like I just like the construction of the shoe. So this is my other gas. Long winded. So wait. All right. So you only Daniel has voted. Um, Marcus. And the comment section gave it a gas because they moved uh, on already. All right. Marcus? Yeah, it's a gas for me. I, I love Giuseppe's. And, I mean, especially this particular silhouette. I mean, they got some really dope colors. They got a red pair that oh, he should have picked that would have no. killed. The red pair is, <laughs> is dope. <laughs> that red pair is dope. But, yeah. I, it, I, it, I had gas. to roll blue, man. Blue is my favorite color. But you're right. That red pair was was fire. Yeah, that red pants dope, but yeah, I, I I like these too. And I mean, I would I would definitely rock these. Soulmates give you the W with the gas. Soulmates. Oh, you, well, I was gonna say you put a lot of pressure on me, but not really because. <laughs> 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 I really I like the color. The color is nice, but I guess I'm just not a big fan of the silhouette. I can see myself wearing them. It's like a gothic boot, you know. <laughs> Kill their feed now. <laughs> no. Just look like like a boot, like I, I don't know, like a Doc Martin kind of boot kind of thing. They uh, do look like Doc. It Martin. does. It does have that like appearance. Kevin, these, 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 these look like, like some Whitney Houston's. I want to dance with somebody. <laughs> 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 I do want to dance with somebody. I'm, That's I'm my a favorite Whitney Houston song. I'm gonna give you the W with a pass, <laughs> but I don't like these. Um, <laughs> These we got like one a, more shoe before you say it's a W. Oh, oh wait, yeah. Well, never mind. Yeah, he's at. He, I got, I got him. I got him with eight. But yeah, these look like a pair of shoes that somebody be walking around the mall with some booty shorts and a white balloon tied around their wrist. Next, oh, a trench coat. <laughs> a trench coat. Wait, what? 
with a with a propeller hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot, man! I got tears. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh man, soulmates up. Uh, Yeah, man, that's a, the audio oh, yeah, just you good. You're in there. Yeah, um, those are ours, the Giuseppe Zanatis as well. Um, I just picked this shoe because I like the silhouette. It's just a nice low-top shoe, and uh, I like the blue on there. It kind of reminds me of, uh, I don't know, just it's like kind of art, like art to me. So that's why I chose I see gas. There's a lot of gas popping yeah, up in there. Gas. Um, so... I'll go first. Um, like, I like the silhouette. I like that's it if I could, but it's a, it's a pass for me. Um, but I just want to like, it's a dope. It's a dope pair. We're offline. Yeah, we're good. And uh, we're good. Keep going. Yeah, it, it, I just want y'all to know. So anything I want to ask on here, I mean, because okay. these, these are my right. type of shoes. I couldn't ask anything because I like all of these shoes. Right. Well, this this was my gift to Marcus for his birthday. I mean, he didn't give me shit for mine, but it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's how. That's how you. <laughs> he said, "Check your inbox." <laughs> Just for I'm, that, I got you something coming. Uh, I'm gonna jump in. I mean, clearly, same thing. I'm out of gas, so I gotta. It's a pass for me. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of silhouette. Though. It kind of has like a kind of like an Air Force One type. It looks of like a pair of bands, bro. Yeah, I mean, but like I like a... the with bands. I like the skate skate highs. I don't like low bands. Have y'all seen those? Um, <laughs> when they've been doing those Air Max. Uh, I don't even know what they're. I think they're ninety sevens, but they're like dipping it in like some orange oh. plastic shit. Uh, didn't like, like round two do that? Yeah, and, and that's what that's that's what this looks like to me. Like they took an all white van, all white pair of vans, and oh. like dipped it in some blue shit. Yeah, These look know, like boom. somebody took a pair of white vans and. A town stomped all over Smurfland. <laughs> oh, yeah, that ja that just made this shoe cooler, in my opinion. It, it gets a, it gets a gas for me. I don't care if I got another one. I'm gonna I'm just gonna pa I'm gonna pass on them. Um, yeah. Just like I, I I wouldn't wear any of these, honestly. I mean, <laughs> I mean I don't expect any of y'all to wear my... any shoes here. Yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 we we gonna get there. So the, the winner, camp out, the campout says, "I'm combing my beard like a Bond villain." <laughs> <laughs> All he needs is a cat on his lap to just rub. So Mr. Bigglesworth. <laughs> All right. So um, the winner is Mike with eight. So congratulations <laughs> to you. I will be expecting your gap by tomorrow. <laughs> God, damn. do not fuck around. <laughs> I'm about to. I'm. I'm about to toss the. Guy. Look, who who wants the to motherfucker? I'm gonna tell you the thing right now. Like he got, he's got us on the motherfucking <laughs> I know. He, he reminder. Hey man, I got, I got yeah. babies to. I'm. A, I'm hey, gonna open it up. Don't real me, quick, hey. GT GT Creations did say something that I think is cool. Um, God, what is what is uh homeboy FBCC? Um, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, the customizer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, who made the valedictorians? Um, no, shout out to his shoes because his shoes are dope. Uh, they're four hundred dollars, and I could spend four hundred dollars elsewhere on Grails. But like, if I just had an extra four hundred dollars lying around, I would for sure buy a pair of those. Well, I think like he this. sold out though, too, though. Yeah, he does, and that, and that's really cool because like, you know, he's one of us. You know, he started off right. as a customizer, and to create his own shoe and it be successful is is really dope. So shout out to him, man. Right, shout out. Definitely. Sorry. No, no, no you're cool. Now we're about to get into topics. Welcome to the topics, and I appreciate y'all for staying with us, even though the game started. Uh, we still got 41 people. Um, appreciate y'all. But uh, the topics today, we got a couple, maybe three, maybe. It depends on how, how long we want to go. Anyways, this one here today is uh the pumas is puma making a comeback uh you know they had the the uh the sonic collab and i thought that was dr robotnik but people are calling this dude the egg egg master is that what they call yes, um, that is not his name dr. Robotnik. It's, egg. it's robotnik yeah, yeah but the shoe, the, shoe, egg the shoe is called egg something though uh, matter of fact, dr eggman dr eggman so like, yes 
it was Dr. Robotnik back in the days of Genesis. I know that for sure, but then they changed his I name. Know, yeah. I know, he, I know, like, his first name had egg in it, but he was Dr. Robotnik. Mm. Is this some, like, fucking the Mandela effect? What do you mean? Y'all know about the Mandela effect? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. There's a bunch of people who believe that Mandela died in jail and didn't come out and be freed. And then there's like the Berenstein Bears, it, like it was the Berenstein Bears, or the, and now it's the Berenstein Bears. Y'all really gotta look this shit up. I gotta, hmm. I gotta look it up. You've been hanging out with uh, the homie Shumanati. <laughs> That's my kids. It's my, it's, my, it's my kids, bro. It's my fucking kids. <laughs> no, I, like sometimes you know I get stuck in those, in those wormholes. Like there's a lot of stuff on YouTube. If you leave it go. Yeah, man, it take you to some weird. places, boy. <laughs> like, what right, yeah, and then have y'all do y'all remember a movie that Sinbad was in where he played a genie? Yes. Uh, yeah, that yeah, that never happened. Yeah, yeah, it didn't. It was. I think people get mixed up with uh, Kazam because he was he yeah. was Shazam, but but um, Shaq was Kazam. Yeah, Shaq was. Yeah. Wait, sh- oh, right, 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 right. No, no, he was never in a movie being a genie. Shazam, then it never happened. And it's really? and it's messed up, right? But in my head, I remember that happening, but that never happened. So I thought it did too. It, so I did think, I. I think, they had like, I think they had like posters and stuff of it, but the movie never happened. Yeah, right. Oh. And that's the that's the Mandela effect. And the the soulmates looking at us like we crazy as fuck. Where's the pyramid at? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> you gotta check it out. No, you got, go go fall down that wormhole and see what happens. Anyway, you know I got shoes are. I got stuck. I got stuck. Oh, one more, one more uh, off topic. I got stuck on a wormhole that took me to the Silent Hill town. It's called Centralia. It's about this town that I guess caught on fire uh, below the town, and everybody had to leave. And it's still there, and you can go and check it out, but you you can't live there because it's still on fire underground, and, and shit it, will swallow it you. It will up. be for years and years and years and years and years like right it's still like it 250 years that shit was crazy yeah it'll burn forever like and that's some weird shit um but back but into yeah, the pumas there's still a population there's still a population there. there's, there's like, like 10 yeah there's like yeah was... yeah they just won't move they're like fuck y'all we ain't moving <laughs> yeah, um, lungs but yeah these pumas so i mean I, so i i seen a bunch of people like repping this dad shoe um i don't know do you have a picture of it loaded yeah, it's the it's up here. Under Spectra? Is that the one? That shit was dope. Yeah, man. yeah. The Spectra like, is up at the top. I, oh, I, my bad. I I got it down where I can see the chat. Oh, okay. oh yeah. yeah, it's up there. Uh, so that's that shoe, and I, I've seen like a lot of like influencers, you know, uh, putting that up there, and that shoe looks like, um, like it's, it's like, trashed. It's like a baseball like, coach. No, that shoe is so dope to me. It's well, not. I mean, yeah, and that's dope, and and you have all the time in the world to you know defend that shoe. But I'm mean, like, for me, it looks like you could buy that shit right at Kmart. Like, it's, but comparing it to the other dad shoes, comparing it to right. the other ones. I mean, you know, I guess right. it's, I mean, it's still trash. I like the feet was better. Oh, oh no, I don't like those. No, 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 just <laughs> <laughs> I like these. I wouldn't get them, but I I do like them. How much are oh, those? Check. Anybody know? Oh, yeah. One twenty, one something. They sold, they sold out. out. I know that. They yeah. sold something. Like, yeah, they sold every every drop. They've sold out. Yep. Yeah, I don't. I think these yeah. look like some Mizuno baseball shoes. Like the, yeah. the coach would I just, wear. I can't get with it, man. I I would like to. I would like to think that I'm cool enough to, but like I, I like I look at them. I'm just like, nah, dog. I can't. Yeah. Are you supposed to be like dad shoes or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think they're, they're like good. trying to dip their toe into feet. the water. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not on that wave. I'm not yeah, on that wave. Man. I, I think it's just dad shoes. Are, to me, is just people just trying to be too different. Yeah, right. yeah. too hard. I trying disagree. too hard to be different. I mean, you yeah. like what you like. Oh, sure. Go ahead. Exactly. Go ahead. I don't. I don't. What's she saying? Yeah, she said. I, she I said you like what you like. I mean, I don't feel like it's people trying too hard or anything like that. But like me personally, I don't like them. But I mean, some people actually yeah, really like them. Yeah. That's. that's I, I think a lot like, of people do. I think. <laughs> that's, for me, the challenge comes in because everybody dislikes them, and then I feel like I can put them on, rock it with a nice slip fit, and that'll change a lot of people's opinions. Because I, I, I mean, I feel like I've done that with several other shoes in the past, and I think I can do the same with them. I put that on with something, it would change a lot of minds. I mean, I don't think that they're they're terrible, but yeah, they're no. not they're not like 
Like if when you have a, a bunch of shoes, these are shoes that you do not need to add to your collection. Like it's something that would probably sit. Yeah, right? it's something well, that I, would. I, I, with the uh, Air Air Monarchs, it's like why are those all of a sudden hot now? They've never been hot our entire lives. Now right. all of a sudden they're hot. It's just to me, like, that's like, it. those are disgusting. Oh, remember? Do you remember a couple years ago, maybe two three years ago, the Monarchs were like, it was like a joke. You can you get them at. Because because it was the number one selling sneaker that year, right? And it wasn't like like because th those it, that numbers are skewed. So like for sneakerheads, you know, like like oh, I gotta get these ones, whatever, whatever. But then regular folks buy sneakers too, yeah. right? So you end up with shit like like the what is that motherfucker called the the fly it's fly net, but it's like the Nike one, the React. Uh, no, 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 no. Like real basic. Like, you know, like every little fourth grade boy is rocking this shoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, like the run one or something like that. It don't, it don't matter. It's a little fly knit joker with the white sole that like, like rip, you know, like you can do it like that with it. Anyway, this shoe has like this huge markup because all these, you know, dads that are fucking up with some grills, driving Lexuses and stuff. They're rocking these monarchs, you know? And really? <laughs> really? You just described me? I mean, really? That's how you gonna do it? <laughs> I mean, dash, I, mean it's, it's, <laughs> I mean, if 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 the monarch fits, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like you said, it's this dad trend that's going in. I mean, the only thing free runs. I can't Thank do you. that. Oh, we got some free runs. Okay, right. But that's what it is. It's like that was like the number two selling shoe, and all the sneakerheads are like, "What the fuck?" And but they started making jokes about the monarch. And then, like, people were putting pictures up, and like a bunch of customizers were like making them look cool, making them look like the Stewie, making them look like the three, you know, the Black Cement three. They, I mean, they were doing all this work on this shoe because it's a blank canvas, and it inadvertently made it cool. And now we have this dad shoe wave, and it's like, only I, I, mean, I, hate I it. just think it's a, oh, no. it's a, it's a prop, just like uh, everything supreme is is a prop. People buying crowbar to buying bricks like this stupid stuff to buy i mean it's, it's, it's terrible a shoe. it's a terrible shoe and people Wait, this just, the puma oh you're saying uh the the both of them i mean well i'd say the, well, the, puma, think... the pumas are better than the monarchs i'll give them that yeah i like those pumas yeah. i'm but, just not following this dad shoe. i got a dad bod too, i'm good the, with that they're too <laughs> they're too shoes. chunky you got a mom bod you got a mom bod. oh man <laughs> but the sonic you the know, hedgehogs i think are fire though I'll, thank you. I was about to say, let's talk about those. I, those know. things are nice. Yeah, they're pretty dope. Puma, I, like Puma come, I mean, on the cool, I mean, it's a lot of stuff because I was after buying those MCMs. Puma got a lot of dope stuff that we're not even looking at that really do. So start looking at those hedgehogs for me and send me a gift. Did they, are they already out? No, they missed. come out June, June something. Hey, uh, Soulmates, I somehow have missed your names. What are y'all's names? Because I want to keep saying soulmates. <laughs> Marcus. And, Kiana. Yeah. Kiana. Okay. Is it Kiana or Tiana? K with a K. K. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I got it. What are y'all's opinion on these Puma shoes? I'm out of curiosity. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think they're trash too. Like I said, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think they're the trash. Dad <laughs> I mean, not the dad hat, the the dad shoes. That's just I can't get with it. What no. about those hedgehogs? The sonic hedgehogs. I mean, I like the colors. <laughs> That's about it. Marcus, 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 we gonna we gonna talk later. We gonna talk later. Does it come with the <laughs> That'd be fucking dope, though. I'd, I'd buy that shoe if it came with like a little handheld Sonic and Sonic Two, because Sonic Two was where it's at because he had tails and he'd be flying you up and places. <laughs> Knuckles, Knuckles was the best. Right. Oh my God. Children. Them Doctor hey, Robotniks are. Who said that? What me? Man did. Oh, hashtag, said, <laughs> hashtag no, we're good. Keep yeah. going. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. I'll let so you know. I'll let you know what's the next done. Let's oh, get it, Kev. I'm gonna let you. Keanu, you everybody else, shit? everybody else, and their mom got. There we go. Let's 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 yeah. lead right into the off white oh, ones. Damn. Okay, there yeah. we go. There off go. white ones. You know, like what was your what was y'all's thought of the drop? I love. I think it's dope. I think it's dope, super dope. Um, they need to do more shit like that. Yes. Um, you know, because I mean, it beats the bots. 
Yeah, um, yeah. You know, even, that's what I was going to say. Those bots, man, that really beats the bots. It helps a lot of people out. Hey, even Terry, though I you got not, two I pair, did man. Not hit. Send me a even pair. Even though I, I did not hit. I did not <laughs> Retail. hit. Um, and that's okay. Like, Because honestly, I don't like this shoe. I don't like. I wish they like. I like the European, the Euro release, the all white one. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I think that pair's dope. I don't like when mm. they take what I feel like is an iconic shoe and tear it up. Like, but it's I don't the same. Like the, dro- the white one's the same as the OG white pair. What no, about the first? Not. What about the uh, the first one's the Chicago? I didn't, not like I didn't like it. I, I feel like the- it was disrespectful. I mean, like, and I know a lot of people think they're fire. They're I just dope. feel like it. They should have done a different colorway and just left the. The OGs alone. Yeah, but that's just me. I think that that's what they wanted to pull off of, though. I mean, you had the one, like, you could have your OG pair and then sit these right next to them. And, I mean, I think that I think that's what makes it even more dope. I think if it had been, like, an off-color, maybe it wouldn't <laughs> have been as, maybe it wouldn't have been as sweet. Because I think that it pulls the nostalgia from the original shoe into this one, along with the concept of it being, you know, super hype. But you know, but you know, though, and I know we've talked about this before. One thing that I do like, uh, you know, with the fact that they had the surprise drop is one, like you said, you beat out the bots. But the other thing, too, is if you look at it, I think that what it does is it gives the consumer, it allows the consumer, at least to in the beginning, to set the price versus the resellers having all this inventory and they can set the price. Like here locally, they're selling for nine hundred or $950, which means they probably paid seven, I don't know, seven, anywhere from seven to $800. Joe Schmo off the street's going to say, hey, you know what? I paid 200 for these. I'm okay with dumping them for seven, $800 because I'll make a quick five, $600 versus a reseller is going to say, nope, I'm going to set this bar at 1500 because that's what is going for the other two. So the way I look at it is what's on that tweet earlier. Yeah, that tweet. Yeah. Right. Then I think then that gives the power back to the resellers and that price is gonna go back up. But I I love it, you know. You beat out the bots and you know, people who wouldn't have had a chance on just regular releases. Some fashion, you know, like attachment to off one or off white, excuse me, or supreme, whatever. And then you have the OG colorways that appeals to the OG collectors and stuff like that. So it, it, this is the perfect bridge between that. Um so I just wanted to share that caveat, and then I'm done talking about this shoe because I did not hit. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm salty about it, and then having to watch everybody else hit, yeah. and then like I'm painful. trying to be trying to be cool and be like, you know what, man, that's good that you got them. And I got to the point where I was like, man, fuck your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, should, so should I not post mine tomorrow when they get in? No, you can post. No, you them, definitely man. Go ahead. Get it. Get it. Get it oh, out of your system. All week now, just because y'all acting like that. No, no, but it, 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 I think I think that they're I think that they're super dope. But like what you were talking about, as far as you know, the resellers not setting the margin. Still, seven hundred dollars for for these after being mm. two hundred, it's still a high margin though. That's a, that's well, it is that's a it's lot better than that fifteen hundred. But you're it's right, better it's better than fifteen hundred. But then I mean, I also saw somebody selling these for nineteen hundred dollars that day. Wow. Yeah, consumers yeah. always going to dictate the market though. Like they, when they that first day when everybody was getting them, like oh yeah, they was up there fifteen, nineteen hundred, two thousand. But then that next day they did the exclusive access, and then that price started started dropping. Like like you said earlier, Mike, that you can have somebody off the street. Hey, I just paid two hundred for them, and I'll you know give me five six hundred dollars. That's what dictates the market. The consumer dictates it. So when you see stuff on StockX, and then you was like, man, I got this shoe. You think you're gonna resell it, and then you see somebody just sold that shoe for half the price on StockX. Mm-hmm. You're like, nah, you got to come down on that price. This is like the consumer in any business is always gonna drive the market. It doesn't matter what it is—shoes, watches, hats, whatever. It's only it's only worth what somebody's willing to pay. Right. That's true. Right, and then these rich motherfuckers be fucking it up. I'm just oh saying. yeah, exactly. Like, oh yeah, I'll pay eighteen hundred dollars for these. I mean, I mean, I'm know. looking. I'm looking at the price right now on. Um, that pair, and like my, my size is 939, which is by far the lowest that wow. I've seen any any off white. But you're looking at like 11 and a half is 930, and then you hit the 12 and a half, and you're at 2500. 
you know. Mm. Um, well, that half, right? That but the, yeah, the twelve and a half right. is always going to be high. That's always it's a unicorn, yeah. yeah. It's but didn't exactly. Pino Pino said that these were like three thousand, three or thirty thousand, thirty right. produce? Yep. But that's yep. the same amount as the the gold toes. The gold toes. The well, even yeah, the shadows, though. I mean, the shadows, I ended up with two pairs and could have got three. No, the shadows had more than 30. Yeah, they had, more than 30. they had, they, they had, they dropped, had, shadows were 70, it was 70. Yeah, yeah, excuse was, me. Yeah, the gold, the gold, the gold toes, the gold toes, I think, Google. had Google. between 30. I thought. I thought they had about 30. And move. what was the band? The band that came out in 2016, it was 20K, right? It was more than that. There, there was more of the bands. The in 2016. Now the the one before that was less, I believe. Well, I'm saying but this is a, a this is an LR, right? It's a limited release, but it's like it seems to be coming closer to the normal like thing. You know what I mean? Like it, this is the biggest release they've had so far of any off white. If I'm not, am I right? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's the biggest one. It's, oh, it is. Yeah, okay. yeah. I thought so. Like, which is cool. I mean, it, it, it'll hit. It's not going to hit the numbers like the Chicago, where it's no. going to be twenty five hundred. No, I think, I think it, it will. I think it's going to settle at about fifteen. I don't even think that because think, uh, look at the look at the Euro pair. The Euro one is high because it's a Euro only release. But see, here's the, here's the reason why it's at the price it is. For one, people got fooled into thinking that for one they're going to release again, which they were supposed to release what on the ninth, and Nike put out that tweet today saying they weren't. And then you had these other people who a lot of people had orders that got canceled. All so right. it's not as many pairs out there as everybody thought. And you're going to see these pairs start to dry up and you're going to see their price go up. Oh, yeah. Simply Absolutely. because, you know, a lot of people who thought they had W's end up having L's. And I mean, I've seen YouTubers. And then they had, I think they dropped again on the app, maybe it was the next day or a couple yeah. of days later. Yeah. Yep, the next and day. For one, I mean, a lot of those were GS pairs, you know. So the price on these bigger sizes is going to go up. Mm -hmm. uh, 1500 yeah. 15 to 17 is where it's gonna settle. I think it's gonna settle around 15. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna be Euro, in, that, in that market because <laughs> yeah, I mean, either the Euro pair is um like 18 and some change, like, something like that. Yeah, no, 1950 <laughs> for my size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 13. My size, yeah it's like 13. 12, 13. Mm -hmm. and, uh, like this shoe, or is this do y'all think this is a hype shoe? It's both. I, I mean, it's I, both. I, I like the shoe, but it's definitely a hype shoe. Um, I, I love the shoe. When we, when we, and I mean, we can go back to to that episode when we oh, had right. the first Chicago off white. I was loving it, and most of y'all shit on it. I think Kevin may have, may have liked it a little yeah. bit. Dan didn't Ma, like it at all. Ma, Ma like it was you, Ma, and Kevin a little bit, and then I hated it, and Mike hated it. Yeah, I, especially I when it I saw it in hand. I have two pairs of the powder blue, or was it powder or university it's powder? Right? Yeah, I, I mean, like, there's certainly yeah, it's powder blue. It's powder blue. You have two pairs right. of the one. Yeah, and like the thing is, is like I can get how people think it's dope. You know, it's just for me, it's not. Like, if I'd have got them, I'd have flipped them. Um, so I'm kind of happy I didn't get it because I hope my hope is that somebody that wanted a size 11 got the size 11 and they're gonna rock it just without that fucking tag on it. Take the <laughs> take the fucking zip tie off. I think it's funny when people put, put the zip tie on and they're not even off white shoes. Yeah, no, that shit pisses me off. I, I am not I taking my zip tie off when I wear these. Gotta stay on. Yeah, I, I leave yeah, it on shit. too. I leave it on. That shit is that shit is whack. We gonna move to <laughs> we gonna move to topic yeah. topic three. Yeah, let's do it. Right, let's right. Put, we can do that. We'll put these to bed. Oh shit! I'm about to say I just noticed that it was a. Uh, Oh, never mind. Topic three. We're gonna get into the NBA playoffs and LeBroston. Uh, hey. So now you got the. Uh, did anybody got a score update on the Rockets? 26, 19. No, twenty six. Oh, okay, there we go. What I, is I would just. He's right. I would just twenty eight. Like twenty one. Houston. Houston's up. Hey. All right. Mm, don't get they too excited. The last game. They were I'm about to say game. you saw that first been one. Up most games. Yeah. LeBron is LeBron is going for the eighth time yeah. in a row. Regardless of regardless of rings, eight times yeah. in a row. That's a fucking like you got to get you got to really think about what that is. Eight right. times in a row, exactly. Like, with no and it's with different hurt. teams, right? Right. Everybody talks about Boston, right? Yeah, we get it. But you went from Cleveland to Miami back to Cleveland. Yeah, right. like that in eight. itself is just. 
All right, miss miss me with that shit. Like, oh, but he ain't. What about the ring? What about the ring? Yeah, the like rings. blah blah. blah. Carl, He's by himself. Yeah. Carl Malone ain't have no rings. Charles Barkley ain't have no rings. I mean, are they not? They're players? still no. They're still Hall of Fame players. Like they're exactly. they, yeah. So miss me with that shit. We're not uh, gonna we're we're not gonna appreciate LeBron until he's out of the league, man. Uh, exactly. I, I appreciate, I appreciate him. Now I'm yeah, a, I'm a LeBron I'm fan, a, and I seen Kick the Habit say, you know, Kevin's a, a a Cleveland fan, then a Heat fan, then a Cleveland. I'm a LeBron fan. I mean, that's right. so well, I. basketball. When it comes down to basketball, like I don't have any you know team loyalties when it comes to that. I mean, I, I root for Cleveland because Cleveland's in Ohio, but if LeBron's somewhere else, I'm rooting for them too. And that's just what that's it how is. I was with, uh, with Ray Allen. That's how I was with him. So yeah. my, my friends used to tell me the same thing, but I went wherever Ray Allen was going. Exactly. So I, was, yeah. I was with him. Right. Yeah, you, you got to. Here's, here's, here's the thing. I, I, and I've been wanting to speak on this. And, you know, I because everybody on Facebook has an opinion about this. And I've been quiet. So I'm, I'm going to give my opinion. I, lo I love yeah. LeBron. LeBron is hey. on the court today. Here's the problem. I compare LeBron fans to Dallas Cowboy fans. Oh, don't say and, that. And I and I, <laughs> and I and I and I know y'all like the Cowboys. I don't like the Cowboys, but I love LeBron. And <laughs> most people don't really hate the Cowboys. They hate the Cowboy fans because all they do is yep, 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 yep. No other football team. <laughs> now people say now New England does, but still, I think the Cowboy fans talk more than anybody. They do. It's the same with LeBron. His fans talk way too much and if you didn't talk i mean sometimes when i see lebron fans even though i love lebron i'll i'll fuck with him just because they get in their feelings about lebron and to me it's silly because he's a man that you'll never meet who's a billionaire who don't give a shit about you and you get in your feelings about this dude i love michael jordan coming up i love cowboy, the team cowboys fans more. too cowboy fans too. yes cowboy fans i love his players who i love but i was not going to sit there and go online and debate and argue with people about, oh, this is the greatest. That's the reason why people don't like LeBron, because they mainly don't like LeBron fans. And Kevin, you but it, it, it you, is. you and Ricky asked for this because y'all talk so much about LeBron. And but, when people come at you, they're coming at you because they don't want to hear it. No, I don't go out there and <laughs> advertise the shit. Like if it's on my page, I'm gonna put on there. LeBron is the man, but I, I'm a I'm a LeBron and I'm a Jordan fan. I grew up with Jordan, you know. Now LeBron, but I think that I stick up for LeBron a little bit more because I see people always hating on LeBron. They I'm like, LeBron. why are you hating on this man? He's doing what nobody else could do, and I don't have anything that I can't take anything away from from MJ. I defended MJ, so I couldn't enjoy Kobe. So now Kobe's gone, and I'm like, man, you know what? I missed out. On watching some good basketball there, so I'm not gonna do that with LeBron. As far as the, the fans, you gotta look at some of the Jordan fans because the Jordan fans are like the old people back in the day that didn't like rap music. Oh, what is that boogity boot crap? Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> fuck out of here with that shit, nigga. I like what I like, and then if you don't like it, then you can eat a dick. Shut the fuck up. Okay, but see, <laughs> but see, here, here's the problem with that though, Ken. I mean, forever Jordan has been known as the goat. LeBron is doing great things. He is. Right. I'm not going to take anything away from him. He's he's carrying teams on his back, although against subpar teams. Now, when he gets to the finals and he plays a team, which still, to me, Golden State is not that great team that we try to make them out to be all the time. Because usually when they play in somebody and they beat them, one of the top two players on the team is hurt or out. So I can't give Golden State all the props they get. But you can't make that comparison. They're, they're two different players. They Why play not? in two different eras. They have two different styles because you can't. But why does you it can't. matter? Why does it matter? It's right, all what some. Yeah. It's all what it, it all. It's all what somebody thinks. It's, so like if you if opinions. you think it, I know it is an opinion. That's all it is. Right. So why Very can't true. somebody have the opinion? If somebody says Larry Bird is the best, then fuck it. They can think Larry, Larry Bird is the best. It's do you, cool. Do you, do you, would you agree with that? No, no, but not. it's not my job to tell this person who they should like, though. Like, I'm like who I like. And when someone comes over to, to me and says, well, why you like LeBron? LeBron is da-da-da-da-da, and he cries all the time. Well, I, don't get the, I don't give a fuck about that. 
I, I don't think care. Just, I think people <laughs> just don't want to. People are afraid to sit here and admit that there's somebody potentially better than Jordan. Yeah. And I will say this right now. Yeah. I think LeBron is close, but I think that when his career is said and done, because he's 33 and he's putting up the numbers he is, if he puts in another three or four more years, he's going to finish as better than MJ. But I think I mean, people don't why, want to. I mean, just in general. But like people just don't want to pass that torch because it's MJ. I get that. I understand it. Oh, I even struggle with that, right? What, like, what numbers? But what numbers are you going by? If you're going to say he's better than Jordan in the end when he retires, what are you? What are you basing that on? Then it would be it would be it would be statistics. It would be what he did for the what the for the teams he was on. I mean, think about it. the Bulls were still good when MJ was gone those two years. Yeah, you, you take you take. Did that win it? It doesn't matter. They finished second. They went to the front. Fifty win team. Scrap the rings. Scrap the rings out of here. You can't you scrap the rings. You can scrap Dude, the rings. Hold on, hold on. Hey, <laughs> hey, I would like I would like one Jordan fan. That whole JPZ is to right. Prove exactly. To me, to prove to me that without saying anything about six rings, right? Without saying anything about six rings, <laughs> prove to me that Le that Jordan is a better that's player the, than LeBron. That's the only argument they have because that, that's, that's not the only argument. Six rings with Jordan. Go, no, no. People worked up six rings with Jordan, but they don't realize Jordan played 14. How many, how, how many MVPs did he have? How many defensive player of the years did he have? How many do, all defensive teams was he on? Jordan Look at those lists. The board did not make those that, that was not put on those teams. He did Jordan not have 14 seasons. Wait, hold up. But Jordan wasn't put on what? And hold up, but uh, real quick. So but JP Jordan was, was right. defensive player of the year. He was MVP of the year. He was on yeah. all defensive team. He was on all, all I mean, all NBA team, all of that stuff. Yeah. Every year, not once every other year, he led the league in scoring every year for oh, 14 no. seasons. No, not for no 14 seasons. No. Well, no. and then also oh, no, no. Isaiah Thomas, who played against Jordan, said, I beat Jordan. And who else did he say he beat? In, uh, in Magic. In Ma and he beat Magic, but he said that LeBron James is a better player and he played against jordan okay for number one isaiah don't like jordan yeah, isaiah, okay. so you isaiah don't like him. i mean but he still but but he still has to defend his era right no no but no, you, no. Can make you, argue, like you can make so, arguments for both right. of those cats man you can make arguments for both of those cats you go all day i'm me personally i am still baffled that kareem abdul jabbar scored all those points with no three points right. i do not understand how he has so many points why would you, why wouldn't you understand that? It's fifteen season, and it's not even close. But but for, for one, you have to. Did you get a chance to watch Kareem play? I watched a lot of ESPN Classic. I'm not that old. Kareem, <laughs> <laughs> right? Exactly. He said. He so said. Watched, Nigga, we used to listen actually, to. He used to listen to him on the radio. <laughs> Kareem play. I, Kareem dominated. Kareem played when there was yeah, no real. I, I still was like, that's crazy right. for him. For the guys nowadays in this era, even in Jordan's era, this era. They got the three point line. They're making, a, they scoring all these points, but they're not even close. That means he had to be dominant for so long. No, yeah, there's, there's, no big, there's no real big man. He was playing against the all, Washington Generals. All you did was fed him the ball. That's <laughs> yeah. all you did. You fed him the ball because he tired of like, everybody. That's the will. That was the that was a game plan. I, I would I, I would like to pose a question. How did us talking about the NBA Finals turn into LeBron versus Jordan? Because uh, LeBron is the is the story of the Finals. I mean. Because they've never seen anybody this close to Jordan before in their life. LeBron times. Right. And people. Uh, no, that's like, not true. Kobe, Kobe Kobe was compared to Jordan daily. Kobe, Everything Kobe, he did. Okay, so the, okay, so the thing about Kobe is Kobe, Kobe, Kobe plays like Jordan. Kobe is Kobe is really, 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 really good at playing like Jordan. Yes. Right? Both but there's guards, never yeah. been anyone like LeBron in the league. Right. Never been. Right. And so, like, <laughs> LeBron is ultimately chasing a ghost. Yes, Cuda said that Kareem was playing against accountants and farmers, <laughs> no, right. and, and that's true. There, there were no athletes in basketball at the time when Kareem played. Right. I mean, Kareem wasn't even an athlete. You, you didn't really get athletes until Dr. J and Magic yeah. and those guys came into the league. Magic is Magic is ridiculous. I mean, that's Magic. Right, we don't talk about Magic. That's the Magic, Magic said AIDS. Poof, you it's, out. It's top five all time. <laughs> period. AIDS, AIDS and, and gets AIDS. no no credit for it. I mean, Magic came and took his team to the championship as a rookie, carried them on his back hashtag, as a rookie. Hashtag Magic had AIDS. 
and then, <laughs> and then got AIDS. I just don't think and, I would appreciate LeBron so he's not there because I haven't seen yeah. anybody before LeBron like him. Never. And I right. But I think this is me. This is why I tell my friends it's not the popular opinion, but I think LeBron was made in a uh, a lab somewhere. What? He got a red cup. Him and I do not know who LeBron's dad is, but we know his mom because he looked just <laughs> like her. But I think he was made in Area 51 somewhere. And he never get his worst injury is cramps. Are you kidding me right now? 15, right. 15 years. This man, this man, this man, he played this every game this season. Yeah. Every game this season. 100, 100, 100 straight games they said he's played. Uh, Swanger said AIDS is better than any Jazz uh, Suns team that Jordan beat. <laughs> like. If you wasn't ready to watch those teams play, yeah. and I watch, I watch. It. But like, I want to. Is Michael Skinner is in the chat? And I, I want to know. Roll AIDS. Is there, is there anything that LeBron can do outside of six rings that would make him the goat in your mind? You asking me? Is, no, Skinner. It, well, any, anybody, but Skinner, yeah. Like, is that all he has to do? LeBron right. is about they're, to have they're, five. They're, they're, Okay, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Who who's the goat in boxing? Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson. Tyson. Mayweather. Mayweather. It's gotta Mike, be Mayweather. Mike Tyson. Floyd Mayweather. It's gotta be Mayweather. It's Mike Tyson is my favorite boxer. It's all based right. on your era. It's right. all, Muhammad Ali, in my opinion, is yeah. the goat. Will always be known as the goat. Period. Bottom right. line. Michael Jordan right. is the goat. Will always be known as the goat. LeBron can win twenty titles. You can only have one goat. And that was that was Mike had the, t the title before anybody else. You don't just pass it. Oh, man. Ali didn't pass it. Why? Ali, if you ask any boss, that's because that's Ali you though. Is the goat. But that's, but that's, that's the goat. your uh, right. It's not just my opinion. I mean, that's. It I think I think Ali is an icon, right? Like, especially for the stuff he did outside of boxing, like that makes him iconic. But as far as like the best boxer. Like you're boxing, oh, it's Floyd. Right, it's, I give it like. But look at Floyd, Floyd he picks his opponents towards the end. Exactly. 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 I mean, I'm not saying he's bad, but watch you watch how that man fights. Well, watch how he fights. Watch he the fight. That's what I'm saying. Watch the like fight. But it's okay. not it's fun a, to watch. So I want to. I want to see niggas get knocked the fuck out. Yeah. There. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not all Mike Tyson. It's not all Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson. <laughs> like this man plays Mike. the game of boxing well. It's like a chess match with him. I'm never saying about the boxing. I think, I think I would respect Floyd more if he wasn't picking shitty ass opponents. I wanted to see him go against Triple G. Right? Mike, Who's Mike used to hit you. He avoided Triple G. Mike used to hit you, and you would Fortnite die. All your jewels and shit would just <laughs> pop out of your <laughs> shit. Mike, Mike also, I'm I'm a Mike fan, but Mike also <laughs> fought bums too. Mike he did. Well, he was in jail. He was. He was. Ali dodged nobody, fought everybody who was right. Who was, and he fought really Ali fighting. also said he didn't want to see no parts of Mike, he wouldn't have wanted to see no parts of Mike if he oh, yeah, Mike had the opportunity. I wouldn't either, man. Yeah, I, I, would, would, I, would, I would not want to get hit by Mike Tyson. Never. Like, I I've been what they shot. Said. You know what? You know what? I would. I would get and hit. blown the fuck up. I've been shot and blown up. <laughs> I, I would rather get, get blown up again to get hit by Mike Tyson. <laughs> I would take a punch from Mike Tyson before I took a punch from George Foreman. Period. Oh yeah, I'm not yeah. taking. I'm not taking yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, this man sat up there and took punches from George Foreman. I think once you see somebody lose, like it takes away from that mystical, like right. that, that. I can see like that. Their, that pedestal that you had him on. Once you once you see somebody lose, but until then, you're so like, what, what what did Floyd Mayweather do in his boxing career? Like as far as actual fights, like what was his weakness? Besides him, you know, I just didn't like him dodging. picking. It, picking it's, just right. it's just boring. That, 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 tainted, that tainted his opinion. His that tainted it for me. The fact that he's dodging opponents and he's hand picking them. Take fight the best, right? And if he'd have beat them, right? I get he's undefeated, but the fact that he's selecting them, he I don't. Like Pacquiao when Pacquiao was seventy five years exactly, old. Right. Exactly. <laughs> That's legit. That's legit. Right? Oh no, how old he was, but he got his butt whooped. He did, but I mean, Pacquiao. I mean, he said, "Hey, Joe, Lewis, how old are you?" If he me and you fight, you're going to whoop my ass. I'm going to stay in there and I'm going to hang with your ass. But you're going to whoop my ass. You're younger than me. You're supposed to whoop my ass. I mean, come on now. <laughs> yeah, he, he picked him. Yeah, they fought when he was but on that, the decline. But regardless, regardless, that man plays the sport of boxing better than anyone ever to do it. Right? You say no, he's born, 
But yeah, as, he was born to do that. Like he was made. Yeah. Right. He's all created, created in a gym to play that game like chess. Right. Um, now, do I think he's the most exciting boxing boxer ever? No. Yeah. The matches are mad boring. Um, you know, but when you look at how he plays the game, like how he uses boxing as a sport, he's he's the, he's that guy. Yeah. Well, no, we, everybody's gonna have everybody's gonna have their their different. Yeah, I'm not even I'm not even a fan. I'm not even a fan of Floyd Mayweather, but because like he gets on my goddamn nerves. But like, <laughs> I always like, end up rooting for him because I feel like there's an undertone every time that he comes around fighting, and I have to root for him. It's like, hey, at the end of the day, Floyd gets the same. <laughs> Floyd gets the same negativity that LeBron gets. Kobe used to get the same negativity. Jordan got the same negativity. So I don't know why y'all get y'all panties in the water. I didn't Wait, get upset. I, think- I didn't get upset back when when Mike was playing. Mike had just as many haters. You know what the difference was? There was no social media. There was no internet. And it had it. Oh, that was yeah. the Mike got the same hate. Kobe got more hate than anybody. Yeah, yeah because he had got anybody. caught up in that shit though. He'd be, he'd be raping. <laughs> anyway, I mean, I don't think he raped her, but you know, he, he 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 dabbled in somewhere he shouldn't have been dabbling yeah. in. Yeah, and he got bit. Mm-hmm. Yep, exactly. Uh, he lucky he didn't get that, that magic no look pass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's we go in the minutes. let's go in the hashtag hero. <laughs> are we going? Are we going with the uh, hashtag uh, magic hat aids? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, shit, no magic. I love magic now. That's just mad. Just, that's can't mad do that. <laughs> um, hey, I can't even close on I that think, one. I, I, I think we should. Don't act like I this shit is falling to you. Um, <laughs> Lubertant. Christian <laughs> Lubertant. Yeah, L O U B R I T A N T. I'm going to need y'all to text that yeah, out. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and put that. <laughs> Put that yeah. in the um in the chat. Put that in the group chat. This yeah, is this is that. Daniel. This is yours. This is your oh, hashtag. No, no, shout out to uh kick the habit. Um, you know, the this this whole shot I absolutely fucking love. Like the shoes are dope, the the black and red. Um it's a penny, it's a penny five, right? Or is this a what is this? The half cent? What's, the, what's half, the name of the is this a half yeah. cent? What's the name of this shoe? I think oh, it's a half cent. That's why kick the habit. Yeah, it's kick the habit. What's that shoe, brother? Yeah, he's he's in the chat. Um, it's just it's such a clean shot. You got the red pants with the re- the shiny red foam on it, and then you got all the little pennies dropping. <laughs> and, it's, and it's just, yeah, yeah, you got red pants on you, but it's dope. Um, and I really like the shot. So this is my hashtag hero. Yeah, this is definitely a dope shot. Let's yeah. see here. I wonder where he went because he was in the thing. He probably was probably watching the game. No, yeah. like, shit. <laughs> All right, this is Marcus's. Marcus, I don't even know what I picked. Who I picked? J So, disrespectful motherfucker. Tinker. I know it was a Tinker three. Oh, oh yeah, J So with this Tinker shot. Yeah, this this dope. I mean, you know he got the combo on, so I had to definitely pick it with it with a killer combo going. So we still hype on those Tinkers. I love them. Or I actually like them on feet. When I put them on, I doubled yeah, up yeah. on them joints. When they weren't on feet, I was not feeling it. But yeah, I don't know about doubling up, but they dope. Yeah, yeah. I mean, been it's, it's gonna be a pair of shoes that I want to have a clean pair of, like five years. So. I rock mine now. Lubertant. Kick the habit. You late, brother? We don't. We don't move on. <laughs> All right, J. So shout out to you. Yeah, this is hashtag that's hero. I shout out to. All right, and next we got this is Mike. All right, it ain't up yet, but I already know my hashtag hero was Shoe Newbie for uh, pulling off that balancing act on the fire hydrant because Lord knows my big ass ain't getting up there and I can't pull that shit off. Last thing I need to do is fall and get my balls smashed. So Uh-oh. I commend you for your effort. I commend you for the shot. And my hashtag hero was uh, Shoe Newbie. I mean, with you got, the, uh, I'll start with the bread 13. Sorry. You got you got you got four kids, man. You ain't gotta worry about it. Shit. I probably need to get these shit smashed. <laughs> <laughs> That's another story. You work on your timing, bro. Um <laughs> <laughs> <Ain't no problem. laughs> don't, don't get me in for Jenga. It ain't gonna work. Oh man. 
Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Uh, my, this is my hashtag hero. This is uh, Dominican Coqui with the uh, clay green ones. And, I mean, the shot is dope. Look at the background. Oh, um, He's been, he been killing it. So uh, yeah. that is my hashtag hero. Mm. And that. When did you pick your damn hero? Uh, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, motherfucker just picked it like tonight. <laughs> no, I definitely, I definitely didn't do it. I had, it, I had all this set up. Oh, Friday. It's so, a clean uh, shot. Okay, it's a very clean shot. So, where we, where we, we'll be rocking with who's, who's the hashtag hero? I'm voting for mine. Um, you know, kick the habit. He's in the chat consistently. Um, that the shot with the pennies and actually having pennies on, I think, is a, a clean idea. Um, so that's mine. All right, everybody else. I'm a I'm a co-sign with Dan. I think the the added effect of the pennies just uh, really set it off a little bit. So I'm yeah. gonna go kick the habit on this one. Super dope. What about yeah. you, Marcus? I I like the one that you picked. Uh, the, yeah, the frog I do. I do. <laughs> I do too. I do too. So soulmates, Kiana and Marcus. Yeah, yeah. We like kick the habit. All right, yeah. there it is. Kick, kick the, the habit. habit. K T H, the hey, W. K-T-H. The hashtag hero. All right, so now we are going to get into the goodbyes. And uh, Kiana and Marcus, you guys have any um, any last words? <laughs> uh, I just appreciate everybody having us on, man. I, I didn't think we were going to be able to be on the show this soon, man. We, I didn't think like we had enough clout to be with you guys, man. Y'all got y'all are just killing it on social media, man. We are pretty like. Just cracked a thousand like a couple days ago, so it was like, man, I'm the, I'm just just having shit. to this, man. <laughs> we ain't damn shit. The, <laughs> damn the numbers, man. Damn the numbers. It don't matter. Yeah, like we interact with the same hundred or so people on the regular. Like that's, you know, the numbers are all show, man. It's yeah. nothing. Yeah, I'm a fan. I've been a fan. I I didn't told you that before. I, I've been a fan of y'all show. Been watching it for a long time. So you know, I I've been wanting to have you guys on. So I like your floating shots. <laughs> I gotta bring those back, man. That was, that took some time, man. I, I've seen you do it, man. You kind of gave me the idea, and I was like, "I'm gonna this, man." Like, 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 once you get the timing down, it's it's super easy. Well, I'll, there, but are you are you actually throwing your shoes up? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm a, I wouldn't throw mine up. <laughs> so I I just I put mine um like on my hand, and I put my camera at one over one over four thousand, so one four thousand of a second. And I have a timer, and it makes a little noise. Just do, 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 click. Right? Uh, so I can, I would just I have that memorized. So I know right when it hits that like last beat, that just kind of pop it. Uh, but you got to hold it out so that the camera's focused on the shoe, regardless. So that's uh, why yeah. I usually the shoe is so much for or for the four. I just Photoshop, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what I'd be doing. Uh, mm. well, we know about your Photoshop. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if you if if you need help or anything, or you want to actually try to do it um, without Photoshop, I'd love to to help you out. Yeah, yeah it could it could be quicker. Yeah. yeah. Um, All right, Mike. Shout out to uh, Kiana and Marcus. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, you know, great guests, good energy. We got, we got to get up at some point. I think I'm going to try and put together something in the DMV area. So make sure to get you in there and a couple other people in the chat. Uh, shout out to the chat, of course, for tuning in. I know the game is on. I'm actually watching it and doing the show. So, That's why you, know, you I'm, suck, I'm nigga. Live. Hey, I always do. That's why I moved out of the office into the main room. <laughs> you know, um, I'm going to steal probably a little bit of your Thunder Kev. Shout out to uh, the breakdown. Um, Mike, Kristen, I saw both of them in the chat. Uh, tone of my voice. Uh, they've been shouting us out on their show as well as shouting out the app. So uh, the support is definitely appreciated. Thank you guys. Uh, definitely. I watched the last episode as well, which was pretty funny. So if you haven't checked them out, make sure you're checking their show out as well. Um, and I think that's pretty much. Oh, make sure you download the app. Uh, the upgrades just finished. So probably in the next week or two, I'll be looking for some testers on Android. So uh, shoot me a DM if you're interested, and hopefully we can get some some shit moving with that. Yeah. That's it. All right, Daniel. Um, I really want to one number one. I really want to hear a New Yorker say that your thing, you know, Y E <laughs> and all the R's. I see all the New Yorkers. They always put that shit in the comment section, but I always wonder how what that sounds like in person. 
Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So to, today is like a weird day for me. Um, yesterday we had a service from my friend um, who decided to uh, exit on her own terms um, and bless her. Uh, she was a really good friend of mine, close friend of mine. Um, it's, it's things like this that keep me plugged in and keep me grounded. Um, so I'm really, really glad to get the opportunity to be on the show and and kind of snap back to reality. I've been in my own kind of world. So thank you all for that. Um, and then today is a weird day. Uh, for me, it's Memorial Day. I have, I've lost 19 friends in combat over 10 years of service. And I get a lot of thank yous today. And I always, it always hits me weird because like this day is not about me. It's about those that didn't make it home. Um, those who came home in flag covered coffins and, um, you know, again, I want to thank Kev and, and, and Marcus, Mike, Ma for reaching out and like checking in on me. You know, you guys are my family. Um, you know, but just, you know, there's regular people that are, are dying, um, for strange things and reasons that I will never understand for the government. Um, you know, but keep those families in your heart today because today is a day to remember them. Not all veterans. We got our own day. But this day is for those that didn't come home. So uh, big prayers for them and their families. And thanks for keeping me plugged in and, you know, alive. I love y'all. Right on, man. Uh, how do you – how do you – Come behind that, man. That, yeah. 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 We should we should have had him close it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and do the shout outs uh, for everybody that shouted out the show. Um, definitely appreciate y'all doing that every week. Uh, first, you got uh, JPs. Uh, saw you in the chat, bro. Uh, thanks for uh, for hooking it up. Uh, KB Fresh Kicks, Kev, Kick the Habit, Arios Ben, Fresh Kicks, John, J Soul, Dominican Coqui, Matza. Miss Kit Kicks, um, and then I'm going to double down on Mike's, uh, Mike the Camp Out, Kristen KB, and Tone of My Voice from the breakdown. Make sure y'all go ahead and check them out. Uh, they drop a video every Thursday at 8 p.m. on the Camp Out channel. So, uh, you know, make sure y'all check them out. Uh, shout out, Also, shout out to Wavy80 and uh, Skip Goes Hard. And uh, shout out to uh, Caesar and them over there at Sneakerbox Radio. Um, you can catch them on DTLR Radio, if you download their app, um, they're on at 9 o'clock. Now, if you hear some music, don't get thrown off. They play music kind of in between the uh, the show. So, uh, you know, make sure y'all supporting them, too. Um, and then also, shout out to Talking Kicks. I've seen Beard Jedi in the chat. Um, definitely appreciate you stopping through, bro. And uh, I'll go ahead and pass it on to Marcus. All right, first off, I want to thank Kiana and Marcus for coming on. Like I've told you all before, I'm a big fan. So everybody that's watching, make sure you go and subscribe to the channel and check them out. Uh, trust me, you, you'll enjoy it. They have, they have a great channel with great content. So go check them out. Uh, thanks to all my brothers here on the panel for all the love that y'all show all the time. Y'all definitely keep me up during my hard time. So I appreciate y'all. Uh, shout out to my... BFF, D-Lo, Diana, she was supposed to be on here, but she was having technical difficulties. Keep telling us to go, need to go buy a laptop, but she won't listen. Oh, what's but, she, uh, <laughs> what's she trying got? Trying to get on an iPad. Oh, uh, damn. Yeah, I think that was what was messing up. But, uh, and just shout out to everybody in the chat that's, you know, always hitting us up in the DM. You know, we appreciate all the support that we, we y'all been showing us. So uh, with that, we should be back next Monday. Peace. See you next Monday and enjoy this skit. Sneaker, no, con, Dallas. Sneaker con Dallas. Yes, sir. Oh, right. oh you're going to Dallas? I'm going to Dallas. Dallas. Oh, for real? Y'all driving in? If so, can I sit in the back seat? <laughs> <laughs> Are you waking up then? Y'all got to eat that. <laughs>